welcome to Water Under the Bridge, our 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons campaign in which we play through old school adventure modules, well not so old, converted up to 5th edition and set in the homebrew campaign setting of Andaran. Bug on my monitor. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. Someone's listening. Uh, uh, so here to introduce herself is uh, Ava. Why me? Why not? Why haven't you messing with me? You got used to it. He's he's now messing with you. Just yeah. Nah, it's, uh, nah, it's not really a big deal. I just wanted to react. Apparently, it was never Hi. a big deal. Hi, I'm Ava. I play video games. I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft and Dead by Daylight because there's a cat charm in Dead by Daylight that I need. And killers are booty holes that don't let us do anything ever. You forgot They're looking stuff. at you guys. They camp because they're terrible. I don't know. They camp. They really do. Uh, but like uh, here, I think it is, or was it here? Um, also, uh, I stream there on occasion. Uh, I recently picked up Taekwondo, so uh, I am becoming Junko IRL, oh. who is my human rogue, therefore uh, completely mm -mm. normal. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. She believes she's human. Mm -mm. <clears throat> um, but you know, you know, following that up, a uh, person to my um, was it? This way. Yeah, hello. Well, if you want me, hi. Yeah, I do want you. I'm Ashlow. Um, I, I run this. It's the, I, hey, I run, hello. I run this stream. Um, <laughs> I have recently got re-addicted to Beat Saber, but I don't stream, so you yes. can't watch it. <laughs> you should stream that. <laughs> you should. I'd watch well, that, honestly. Uh, DMCAs and all that stuff. Oh, it's really right. difficult to stream it. You should just be like, beauty, beauty, beauty. beauty. The whole, See, I love the idea audio, of like, just sing it yourself. I like the idea that it's just absolutely silent, and we're just like watching someone just, just heavy breathing flails. <laughs> yeah, nah, no, that's Please, cool. Please, heavy breathing. I could maybe life. do it into a Discord, but not on a real place. Anyway, yeah, I play it three. He has new magic hammers and wants to hit more things with hammers now because because that's cool. Which is nice because he had to stop using his actual hammer for hitting people. Um, mildly sad, but lots of <laughs> fun stabby times at the moment. Um, I this is the the my latest new T-shirt, which is the secondary one to the one I had last week, which is Odin's Wolves, which is cool. Like, yeah. I bought this specifically cool. because of E3. For a second, it's, I thought that was the Abstergo logo, and I'm not sorry. <laughs> My first thought was The Witcher. I thought that I mean, too. now that's actually closer. That's it's. I think it's supposed to be from um, one of the Norse TV shows that's got popular recently, but I can't remember which one. Last Kingdom. Uh, yeah, maybe that or Vikings or I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that that was all I have. Next. That's Next. Ashley. Next. No. No. Oh, um. Hello. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no passes allowed. Skip one. I was, okay. I was ready. I'm Ashley. I play Cora, the monk. Um, monk. She's a monk, not the monk, a monk. Uh, when I'm not, she's the only monk I know. Cora, I meant like monk, the TV show. Um, not oh, that one. I got you. I'm, I I'm so that. sorry. I miss that reference. I feel bad. <laughs> I'll just die. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh, so no. sorry. Uh, I make stuff when I'm not playing D&D &D and games with people. Um, you can find that at Pixelbun Studios. Um, on Etsy, Patreon, Pinterest, probably Instagram, the Gram, Ebo, MySpace, Ebo Messenger. I do Messenger. have a new, a new design. Ebo Messenger. It's an owlbear. <laughs> Like, I'm not on the D20, just a straight up. Oh, cute. cute. Owlbears are adorable. Until they kill you. Cute. Yeah, they will totally kill you. Uh, that's all <laughs> I have to say about that. Okay. Next. Well, thank you. Now you can Hello. go, Crap. I am Creptic or Nathan, whatever you want to call me. I play Dracon, the human wizard. And of course, we just leveled up, so I got more hit points, which is great. 
Yay! Um, new spells, which is also great. And apparently, while I wasn't here, I got new magic items, which is also great. So it's a win-win for me. Um, when I'm not playing D&D, I stream. I haven't in a while because I'm in pain, but let's not talk about that. But I finished Final Fantasy VII Remake, and it was amazing. 10 out of 10. Definitely everybody should play it. And, Agreed. Um, I'm going to be starting something new. Possibly tomorrow, either Neo 2 or Elden Ring. I'm not decided on which Ooh, one. You want to be in pain. <laughs> I'm, I'm up to, I'm kind of like leaning towards Neo 2 because I love the first one. And I've had it for a while, so. Yeah, that's me. Check me out. That's exciting. Do it. You won't. Just do it. Saraha. Hi, I'm yeah. Saraha. I play what? I play the Kalashar Druid Nova Cree, um, and uh, I also stream occasionally. I'm on a little bit of a hiatus because your mental health is important. So, yeah, and I, this is my dice that Ashlow made, um, and it is very pretty, and I wanted Ooh. to show it off. Ooh. So Such a freaking champion. Hang on. Look, look at it. It is so pretty. It's got, I'm going to post pictures on Twitter later. Of Have this. you rolled oh, yeah. it yet? I rolled a natural 20 on my very first roll with it. So. I got annoying. And yes. now we'll never roll another nat 20. I know. I was rolling it more. <laughs> I was getting double digits and then, you know, so I do think you, it's a good dice. It's a good dice and I'm really excited. Do you want to see the one I got for myself? Yes. Cool. It's got a hole in it, so I'm not going to show you that side. Is that going to show Ooh, up or is that too? Bright. I love the color. That is very bright. It's oh, like, wow. it looks like a, with, it's with like the lighting, it looks like it's like a nuclear. It looks like it's core. literally on fire. Like yeah. yeah. Radiation coming off of it. It's like orange with red and gold flakes in it. It's so cool. It's like magma. But there's also a hole. So if you just chuck it at somebody, you, you've essentially become Dracon casting Firebolt. <laughs> much. Probably so, do, do the same amount of damage. I'm on Firebolt, okay. I mean, Firebolt is great. Love it. You know, it's it. not like you have anything more exciting to cast or anything. L listen, when we're, when he's not here, though, we're like, guess it's Firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. Does he cut and his you know main what? spell? Because when he's not here, that's all we want to use. <laughs> that's what I'm legit the most upset because when he's playing, at least there's use... the hope that maybe he'll mix it up a little. <laughs> I might use Ray of Frost. Who knows? <laughs> God damn it. It's true, though. Ice song. Knife. Oh, that's not a cantrip. No, anyway, so I'm very excited about this dice, and it just makes me wish we were playing in person even more. But yeah. I will one day. One, one day, day we will. Oh, no, Maybe. No. Once we can all, you know. Next. Teleport. Oh, that's me. That's uh, what we're hi, doing. <laughs> I'm Askel Archer. Uh, I am the dungeon master for today's game. I converted everything up to fifth edition. I've been helping these people build the setting we're playing in and they've been helping me uh and i will play the bad guys the neutral guys the tormented toothless friends that have been tortured for the past seven months straight um i kind of lost my train of thought there when i'm not running games on route 66 i'm also streaming on twitch as ask larcher uh well, I've been playing Bug Fables, I think we're going to start something new this week. Something spoopy. I don't know what, but uh, something something that I'm going to be an absolute coward about. I've been toying with, um, what's that new, like it's the spiritual successor to Until Dawn? Oh, it's called The Quarry? Even... That's the one. I was, called, I was toying with the idea of that one. It's Dawn, that's the name. I'm excited, it's Dawn. It comes out in June, Dawn. right? Yeah. Oh, is it not out yet? Oh, well, I no. guess that's not an option, is it? Fuck. No. It comes out in June, I believe. I'm probably going to have to pick something up, uh, unless anybody has it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's us. Um, McKnightsy, once again, will not be here. Uh, we wish him well. Hope he has uh, better luck and, well, better health and fortunes. Put it that way. Yes. Um, <clears throat> So you, chat, if you'd like to be involved today, you can be involved by spending your gold pieces on channel, or excuse me, that's your chat, that's our channel points, on chat's blessings, which our players can spend to give themselves, or anyone else really, plus or minus one on any d20 roll per blessing spent. Uh, and they might I'll be needing it soon, shark. based on where we left off last time. 
Don't make me mute you. She's been doing this for days. I'm dead inside. <laughs> Don't worry, if she's been doing it, so is she. Oh dear. So on that note, shall I do the thing? On, on that note, let's do the thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep showing. My fade didn't work. So mad. So mad over no I mean, we're back. We're back. Everything working exactly as it should. Uh, all right. Let's talk about what happened last time. And since I know all of you are well-versed, and those of you who may have been missing have absolutely watched last week's episode, I won't recap uh, too anything. emphatically. I I'm sure it'll be fine, right? What so, are we talking about? Hmm? Uh, no, I was just saying you all have do, 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 No! You no, guys, last time... I will time quit this game. I will <laughs> absolutely turn this campaign around. Um, you guys have come to the Temple of Elemental Sin, uh, a former military stronghold that was destroyed 10 years ago, but not properly. Um, you've made your way inside in the hopes of defeating them from the inside out. Uh, you have found numerous doors enchanted to bar your way. You found the odd trap here or there. And you even managed to dispatch an entire group of well-armed mercenaries. You made contact with the priest, Kelmo, of Elemental Air, who was open to an alliance, probably going to betray you at some point, but you know... He seemed nice. He was nice enough for a really evil, wicked elemental cleric. Um, he gave you some information. And then as you left to rest, overnight he was slain by none other than the uh, feral druid Ellie, Nova's friend. Um, you guys tracked Ellie down and found, unfortunately, her in this area with dead Kelno, who had yet to be discovered. Um, behind him, you discovered a hidden weapon stash, weapons, armor, all manner of things, to be honest, um, as well as stairs leading down to the lower levels. You opted not to go that way yet. Instead, uh, falling back, and looking for the cells he had told you about. Um, along the way, did you make any detours? Hmm? You no. didn't. Or once. No, you did. Oh, you wow. did. You opened oh. a door and there were some bugbears. <laughs> you found another room full of bugbears. I think <laughs> quickly. Oh, yeah, because we went the wrong way. <laughs> Cora was able to bluff. And they directed her, all of you, really, to the cells. You made your way back to the door you had missed uh, and found that the cells were protected by an ogre and a bugbear. Unfortunately, the ogre was sleeping and the bugbear thought you belonged there. So you were able to ambush them and take them out with no trouble at all. In the cells, you found two human merchants one halfling 
totally innocent, not at all shifty man named Philip Flash, two elven scouts, and the missing elvish uh, noble, Countess Tilahi, as well as another of Nova's friends, the <coughs> lizard folk. Uh, uh oh, which one Sethala. was it? Sethala. Sethala? Uh, yeah. Who had had all of her teeth removed and was badly hurt. Uh, you struggled with what to do about this. That was a lot of innocence, but the way out would not be safe nor quick. Ultimately, it was decided that Therithiel would escort the other elves and civilians out of here, taking Ellie with them. He would return as soon as he could while... Uh, Sathala promised to take care of Ellie and do the best she could for her, and they would try to get news of your success and of their plight to those who could maybe offer help. Um, you continued exploring. Uh, you found a magical room in which a mirror depicting two angels within it bid you to leave your equipment in the room and step outside and count to 90 and then come back in and all of your equipment would be blessed with the power of Celestia. Uh, sir, 70. you said 77. Was it 77? That's right. Yeah, it was so specific. <laughs> um, you, uh, you didn't really buy it. You felt like something was off here so you kept your equipment and left that room the next place you discovered was a passage leading to a secret entrance right into the personal quarters of the guardians of the fire temple after a brief skirmish in which e3's head uh multiplied its size by 10 and then gave him tremendous psychic powers uh you uh, defeated these guardians. You learned that the fire priest, Alrem, dwelled north of this room, while to the south, through a concealed entryway behind a tapestry, was the fire temple itself. And even as Dracon was starting to examine some of the magical weapons that had been used, E3 pulled the tapestry aside and looked through. And you guys could see the massive fire temple, which I will describe again, but that's where we're going to pick up. Okay, so, describe in two seconds. I'll be, I'll be. I wanted to ask if before um, everyone left like, with Thrithiel, I didn't say this out loud, but I would have mentioned that Valoria might be on her way here and that they might encounter her on the road. I don't know. I don't know if that's something that they would have encountered. Uh, and I know I didn't say it, and I know we don't really do retcons, but I wanted to be like... <laughs> I'll allow it. Okay. Because it's a minor retcon. Yeah. But, I think it would okay, have been more like a, hey, Valoria said she was on her way here, but just so you know, I, I, don't, I don't really know. What's I also happening. don't think it's going to change anything at all. No, I don't think. I mean, they're not going to stop her if she is on her way here. So. Okay, in that case, a few sessions ago, when I was talking to Burn, <laughs> I'd like to add a few things. No. Okay. Uh, because that would change things. Mm. So, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Um, I, I I wanted to stall. The, the... Um, I can okay, stall. so the things I wanted to tell Burn. Uh, number one. <laughs> oh God, I'm so. Oh sorry. good, an <laughs> itemized <laughs> list with I which really... I can tell you now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gosh, when is Burn gonna get back to us? He, he can't. He's dead. Hey, remember that, that reminds one... me. Remember that he's one dead. time. Remember that one time that I sent a message to Burn. Nova. Oh. You suddenly hear. A voice out of no, like literally in the middle of what you were doing, just suddenly you hear Nova Cree. Ah. I forgot what his voice sounded <laughs> Me like. Me too. <laughs> uh. I approve. 
I am in not. Meet. Watch aside hostile. Tonight. Can I respond? Do I know if I can respond? I've never received You can this respond. Before. You have 25 words. He's not going to uh, use all of his, though. It's not. Oh, okay. yeah. So she's suddenly just talking out loud because I don't think she knows that you can just think this in your head. Wait, can we see the map? Where is she? Oh, I'm um, sorry. Let me move you guys to the map. <laughs> I haven't even described the, the temple yet. Yes, just think. And Take a second to think, Sraha. You only have 25 words. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> What if I don't I mean, respond quickly enough and it fades? It doesn't uh, do that. You do have time oh, to think okay. it through, so. I'll think for a second. I'll think for a second. I'll just go, oh my god, I'm so glad you're alive. Uh, that was way too many words. Um, <laughs> we're in the middle of the fire temple section. And I don't know what time it is because I haven't seen the daylight in a long time. What day we'll is try it? to be uh, there. <laughs> I think that was more no, than 25 you, more. you ran out at like, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. We're in the middle of the fire temple. I don't know what time it is. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. I've never used a sending spell before. Oh, that was great. So she said all that out loud just out of the blue because she doesn't know. You can probably just think that in your head, which just seems I was going to look at Nova. But... What? Oh, you guys didn't. <laughs> Did Burn what? not talk to you guys too? Shh, shh, I got a message from Burn. So, I got a message from Burn. Bear in, bear in <laughs> mind, the last thing that happened at the, la at the end of the last session, Ithri told you all that there was three people in the northern room. Um, okay, 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 okay. It okay, was, okay. let me get my notes because I wrote it down. It was Ulrim, um, a mm -hmm. half orc, and an acolyte. That's all he knows. Okay. So this that then, that, that was like yeah, be hush. So E three, when you had pulled the tapestry open, what you saw beyond, there left there was no doubt. Is the fire temple itself, a huge hall of red granite, lit by scores of torches, and pervaded by the odor of heated metal and sulfur which kind of begins to waft into the rest of you now. The great doors of beaten brass reflect the leaping flames. Tapestries adorn the walls of the north, wider section of the temple, depicting scenes of fire in its evilest forms. Despite the many torches, blue and mica flakes in the polished granite walls appear to leap and dance as if flames are caught within the rock itself. A brass tube, 20 feet long, maybe two feet in diameter, is suspended from the ceiling by chains made of the same metal. Just to the north of that is a shallow fire pit, um, which would be, I think, in the middle of like I think uh, right there. Um, I lost my spot now that I was, I should have done that. And to either side of the tube are low stands of brass upon which you see many small blocks of charcoal. To either hand, east and west, uh, beyond that, lines of pillars leading to copper cauldrons, which flank the main area of the temple. And before each such cauldron is an octagonal brass table. On each table are 16 bowls and a copper dipper. It's very specific. Dipper? When you say so dipper, what do you, what? Yeah, like a ladle? Yeah, is that? Skinny dipper. <laughs> yep. Skinny dipper. Um, so is it now when either is looking in, that's when Nova got the message? Mm-hmm. Okay. What well, did, um... If, what as did long Brian... as there's no people in the temple... Doesn't seem to Yeah, be. I'm just going to close the curtain again. Sorry. Karen what Dragon. did Burns say to you? Uh, he said... 
he said, I'm, I'm whispering, he said that we should meet him at the, he's, he's in knocked and that we should meet him at the Waterside Hostel tonight. I don't think he got my full response, though. I feel like it's limited words in them. Yes, it is. Yes, that's how that oh, spell works. Did he did he respond again? No. <laughs> well, I don't even remember what I sent to him the first time as a message. <laughs> you said we were in the fire temple, so he knows. I where we're I was like, I don't know what time it is, but we'll be there. So hopefully, he got that. <laughs> What's he doing in Noct? Why would he? Huh? I don't know. But we should probably finish up here and. I mean, why would he want us to meet us at the Waterside Hostel when we know that that's where? That's good. We got it. We got bad people about, are. about the elves, and maybe uh, there won't be this huge war and stuff. So that's good. Are we not busy? Yeah, we're busy. I think we should finish up this section. Let's take care of the people in the North Realm. Oh, well, yeah, and that's then what let's we're gonna do. Get the fuck out of here. What time is it anyway? <laughs> Can I tell what time it is? That at is all? a. That's a keen mind thing. Well, yeah, but I'm wondering if my. I've been playing too much Pathfinder. Does Fifth Edition in... have Dungeoneering? No. No. So no. the problem is we've been Survival. underground for like. Days. Survival? Yeah. I can It'll do that. Survival I can do that. Mm -hmm. We're mole people now. I know, that's what <laughs> I'm thinking. Like, Oh, 18. Ooh. 18. Okay, uh, as far as you can tell, it's pretty early in the morning. Somewhere in the ballpark of like between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. Oh, wow, we woke up really early. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, you also so we have time? Really early. Yeah, we've got like 12 hours or so before it's even evening. Oh, good. So like, after I, when we get out of here, I can like try to like bake a cake to bring him or something, you know? I don't think that's very necessary, like at all. What? What do you mean? Or important? Somebody, you should bring a dish to pass. Just, I don't think know. that's the case right now. Oh, we don't even okay. have a kitchen. Ethry is gonna <laughs> go well, into. I can, have, I can work on it. Ethry is gonna go into his um backpack and then go. Ooh, remembering that there's a big scary thing in there. Carefully pull something out and chuck it to. Cora. Oh, yeah. And go, here, <laughs> ah! here, give him this. And I give what is it? give over the last remaining taffy. Oh, there you go. Well, taffy's pretty. How's it look? It's still good. I don't think taffy goes bad. It's gotten hard. But... Yeah. Um, so good. Brew pack. Easy. There's, uh, there's no a my, Is that my inspiration, taffy? Yeah. Probably. Okay, that's the good shit. I'll put that right. away. That was the original taffy. Yeah. Inspirational taffy. Mm. I Expensive. think uh, seeing E3 freak out that there was something freaky in his bag and Nova goes, oh yeah, that's right. I I will mind link to E3 and go, hey, Burn doesn't know about the orb. I think we should keep it that way <laughs> for now. Uh, yeah. Unless he brings something E3. up about an artifact. I'll, just saying. I'll just try saying. to remember that. Honestly, you might have to remind me when we get there. So, are we going up there? If or are we, we going down there? Uh, if three's loot in the bodies first. first. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, Junko's going to wait here because he said there's people north of us. So, she's just going to wait to surprise if they come through. Okay. Uh, maybe I should drink a potion. Hold on. You know yeah. the Mortal Kombat and other game lobbies where they're doing the, the stance. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your character. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna drink a potion of healing. Um, Are we gonna try to ambush this room up ahead? Like we got surprise on these this room. It seemed to work well for us. I I think with the noise we just made, that's probably. Is it two d four or one d eight? Two d four. Um. Plus two. I might have a there's better a, potion if that is required. There's a, there's keys for roll twenty to use the. If you want to do it that way. <gasps> oh, wait on roll twenty. Yeah, there are there are macros. Yeah. That's true. <clears throat> I was just trying not to use roll twenty, but I can use roll twenty. I mean, yeah. as long as the dice are visible on screen, which they should be. Oh heck yeah! Look at oh no, I'm gonna use roll twenty. That's very convenient. The amount of okay. Blue. 
So what's our plan for taking care of Ulrum? Because you said he's in that room. Wait, he is? Okay. Right? I'll just, like, do stabby motions with my sword. Sounds well, good to me. Shouldn't we, like... Uh, knock him out and then see if he has Im any information about the water temple? I think it's worth a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it not be um, worth seeing if he had information about the temple we are going in? Right, than... or like the whole temple in general or about your evil wizard friend? I don't know um... who you're talking about. So yeah, Hector, you do know we're dying. I'm really no. sorry to break the news to you. <laughs> he, he wasn't evil when I knew him, so I, hey, I but I, Well, I, I, apparently I, Daldrail is evil now too, so you and me can have a pity party. Oh yeah, I, and see if he knows anything about uh, v, v. I don't Eladriel. like parties. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it's worth trying to get information out of him for sure. I've got a few spells that can help out with that. Okay, I'll try to knock him out then. I'll stun him and then knock him out. Sure. Sorry, I could poison game. him with my new dagger if you want. I don't know, maybe. Don't you usually not like to be up close? I could still yeah, stun him. But if it's him. like restrained, you know? um, I can actually throw this dagger at people. That's what I was going to ask. Pretty cool. Mm. Uh, did we loot these bodies already? No. You did not. No. That's what Ethereum was saying. Take that flame and store. Sure. Oh, so it, the fire on the sword has gone out. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> um, but it is. Uh, it, it has like a, a brass hilt and pommel with like black leather uh, filling the hand grip. The blade itself looks to be probably a, a long sword. Nice. It it really hurt, by the way. <laughs> Be careful with it. Um, is it obviously magical at first glance? Oh yeah, okay. yeah. There, I'm sorry. I should have mentioned there is a ruby set into the hilt as well, from which a faint glow emanates. Ooh. And the rope is right where Dracon's standing, so. Yes, the rope looks exactly like a normal rope, but it glows blue. <clears throat> oh, look at this rope I just found. It's shiny and blue. It's also it... 30 feet I long mean, and weighs about three pounds. You What's it do? You say found. It was literally wrapped around me it 30 right seconds ago. You found floor. it wrapped around you. <laughs> Wait, I found I... this. <laughs> yeah. Can I try to use it, Dracon? Maybe um, we can use this going forward. I can like hog tie him. Um, sure. If you if you want it, yes. So how do you, how do you use it? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one who wants to use it. I, I, okay. Did did the guy say anything when he threw the rope at me, or was it just? He did, but in the heat of combat, I don't think you'd have caught the. Okay. The command words. For I'm gonna say to rope. identify it first, before then, and I'm gonna look at he, I'm gonna look at Ithri. He said when he threw me, he said, "Yeah, I'm here, you." Yeah, I throw it at Ithri. How would you do that? You just kind of I'm throw the end of the rope it. at him, and it falls on the floor. Oh, that didn't work. <clears throat> maybe if the, never mind. Maybe we work it out later. There's, yeah, yeah. Just there's fuck it up people now, I guess. in there. Are we going in now, or are we going to well, go and come back actually later? a little more. Oh, okay, carry on. Uh-oh. Um, on. So on the bugbears, um, how many bugbears were there? Three? Two. At least Two. 20. Two. Weren't At there three? 20. No, there oh, were three Oh, party funds money? I got this, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> it's going in my belt. Hey, speaking of, you did find... Flash rob us? <laughs> <laughs> Not that you've noticed. Uh, you find 24 gold pieces on the bugbears. Okay. On the commander who had the sword, however, you find a gold chain uh, with an eight-pointed uh, fire amulet with a large inset garnet. Okay. He also has a purse. 
uh, one second. Let me open up the uh, the gear page so I can put the value of that. On. Is it fashionable? Uh, well, it's. I hope it's a bag things. of holding. It does not appear to be a bag of holding or a handy haversack. Dang, <laughs> I want one um, of those so bad. But opening it up, uh, you find that it had six electrum, twenty gold, and six platinum. That's and right, gold, electrum. Six platinum. Uh, I will just um, add that to our party. If funds. no one likes that, I'll take all the electrum. That's fine. No, I'm just putting in our party funds. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry You'll it. recall that he ha also had a dark red cloak. Uh, looking at this cloak, it has pockets. And in the pockets, pockets? you Cute. find a number of gems eight Man. banded agates, five tiger eyes, and six just chunks of turquoise. Does, I was really hoping uh, you were going to say pocket sand. But, you know. eyes, Does it look like six, they're just components for spells? Kind of like they're just raw gems, or do they look? Uh, they look more like they were for value. Okay. For maybe paying mercenaries, or maybe they were right. a payment to him. All right, six platinum. Okay. Now you can. That's Forty-four. Everything. Gold with six electrum. The with a basic like like with the plus two sword that I've got. Do you need because you don't need to attune to it? What do you need to do to figure out what it is? Does it need still need to be identified? I can't remember what we did. Uh yeah, so you can either experiment with it or during a short rest you can automatically identify it. Okay, I oh, will just put the presuming it comes with a scabbard i'll put it back in that and or sheath or something attach that to uh, my back i'll just put the stones in my belt of holding as well so that way if we ever want to sell them sure hell yeah junko's uh spinning her ball just waiting guys i got an idea I could look like him and go in there and try to get them to come out here. Look like who? There the is. The fire we were just fighting out here whilst screaming. Yeah, but I can be like, I took care of mm -hmm. it. I'm awesome. Everybody else is dead in there. I'm going to put my ear to the wall to see how thin they are. Actually, it's uh, the door. You're trying to tell how thin it is, or are you trying to actively listen? Uh, well, if I hear something, then I'll know, like, if it's thin walls and they just heard her flying. Okay, of course I can. Hey, don't listen. I was speaking quietly. Oh, uh, nine. You don't hear anything. Do I hear, Which like, a just... rat scurry in the wall? No. Ooh, not even that. Mm -mm. Or we I could just we should run just in there, Get in there. Yeah, I think we should just get in there. Okay. You want me to smash through like a bear, or we you want? What do you want? Does the door look locked, slash trapped, or anything? I can take a run up. I like the bear idea, Nova. She can take a I've run. I've actually up. been working on some stuff. <laughs> what? I can like, test it out right now if like, you want. Are you, are you watching me fight, or? No, I wish. Um, some new. Did forms? you want the sword? Oh. Two animal forms I've been working on. They're rather big, though. Is it like the the big thing in the long neck? Wait, oh, sorry, I can't not use both hands. One. I'm just going like the, this for the, the crocodile, alligator. No, um, remember that uh, giant behemoth thing we saw in the jungle? Oh, I think I could test it out, but I think I could do it right now. It's massive. I don't though. think it could get through that door. <laughs> I think too. I'm, I'm just gonna look in the room that we're in and be like, <laughs> it would fill the room. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Please I mean... don't. I could do something smaller. I could do um, I could try, like a rhinoceros that could ram its head through the door. Okay. What's a rhinoceros? I I have a suggestion. Mm-hmm. 
You could just try to open it. <laughs> True, That's but I think fight. it'd be more of a surprise if you did this one. Do that to it. Do that to it. I'll put good Drake on. I know. I'll pull Drake on out of the way of the door. I I'll mean, just shake my head. I mean, so what we could do, <laughs> you rhinoceros, run. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and open oh, the door. Here. And if I can't open the door, I'll step out of the way. And either way, you're okay. going through it. Yeah? Okay. I like that. I like that. I will. I still think it's safer to do my idea. <laughs> As <laughs> she's saying that, I'm wild shaping into a rhinoceros. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, uh -oh. So, do you want to describe the transformation? Yeah, she just uh, kind of falls forward onto all fours, but instead of like her normal, like turning into this like live panther, it's instead a very large, leathery, hulking beast with a horn on the front of its face a rhinoceros. So, as oh no. as she does that, how wide is the oh rhinoceros? No. It's so big. It's gonna fit through the door. I'll fit through the door. Don't even it, worry. It's wide. It will be tight, but it looks like it will fit through the door. If I get but a running just... start, and show myself well, you just gotta the like door. butter the sides. You know, I get a charge attack if I move at least twenty feet straight towards the target. Do, do we need to? Rub you. I've got lamp oil. Will that work? <laughs> Rubbing a rhino. With them. <laughs> oh my god! Drake, on step back. Flaming rhino. I pulled you back. <laughs> next time. Next Whoa. time. Grandpa. Leading him away. Grandpa. Um. Yeah. All right. Are you gonna try to open the door so I don't have to bust through it? Is that what you're doing? Does the door look like it opens this way? Are the hinges on this side. So or? looking at the door, it opens towards you. Okay. And it appears to be made from oak. Uh with bronze binding on it and a large ring for opening and closing a ring so there's no key it's a pull so there's no keyhole or anything no okay i will just put my hand tentatively very close to the very close to the the ring but not actually on it yet i'm gonna wait for it to start running before i do Wait, don't I'll you need just... a 20 feet? Let's move stuff out of the well, corner behind be, you. There might be stuff. There might be more room in there. I don't know. Okay, I'll back up all the way against the wall. There we go. And then I'll oh my Lord. snort like a rhinoceros does, and I will full charge towards this door. Um, all right. E3, yep. throw uh, it open. Hang on a it second. Open my, wall. my roll 20 is not the same as Observer's roll 20, so give me a second. Um, yeah, I will throw it open as she charges at it. But I'm not. I'm okay. not in the right on in the right place on the map at the moment. But you throw the door open just before Nova goes in, and I just charge. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting door. until she starts running as well. So. Oh yeah, there is no time. I'm gonna to keep going. I'm gonna keep stopping. going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm hitting that door. I can't wait to see what happens. There's a second oh, yeah. door you guys <laughs> i think you need to refresh observer oh okay that should be as oh, no surprise go. to you that there's a second door that there's a second door because this architecture makes no <laughs> sense. goes barreling through door. like how hard you see you... this rhino go through the door and a second later you just hear a crash you can I still don't see even the go back through the side door. of the rhino oh. oh we're gonna find out hang on Damn. uh make Holy an attack shit. roll an attack so. roll. Uh, yes. Okay. What do you get Plus, for charging? I'm Anything? looking at the. Uh, yeah, this is. As though it's you're... just extra damage if I charge at a target, but it, my That's attack good. is plus seven, so hopefully. This is... <laughs> Add seven to this. So. The stream, a dirty 20. The stream can now see where the rhino is contained. <laughs> <laughs> this is 20, where we will, shut uh, the door. We'll hit the door. So go okay. ahead and pull your damage. Is this piercing um, or bludgeoning? Um, it matters. I'm using my entire body, so probably. Both. Well, well, does Both? it not does it not okay. say on your charge deck? Well, it says bludgeoning for all of oh. the damage here. So, oh, yeah. good. That's good for you then. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So because it was a charge, mm -hmm. I take an extra two d eight. So two d eight. 
and the and door another has vulnerability to bludgeoning. Just so you Perfect. know. Perfect. So Four D eight plus what did it just say? Plus five. Goodbye, door. So twenty seven plus five. <laughs> So 32, so 64 damage to the door. Yes! Oh, I crashed that fucking That door, door had down. 22 hit points, just so you know. <laughs> just explodes into shards. And I just so, keep yeah. going. I just you keep just running keep through it. Um, the door is keep... obliterated. The crash you hear is of another door exploding immediately after Rambi goes running through. <laughs> and I run Rambi. in. There's more doors, so I'm just going to keep going. You know, there's also a guy in there. It. Just running it. past him? Yeah, I, if I just oh keep seeing god. doors, I'm oh gonna keep going. I've got a whole... Yeah. I'm, Hang on. There's just like an astonished priest who was like Five, in the 10, middle of 15, looking at 20. some documents just as a rhino goes barreling past Hey, you guys have seen Jumanji, right? <laughs> yes! Oh, that's what I was <laughs> <thinking> of. <laughs> I'm just going for this door. I'm hoping that like somebody's following behind me because I'm clearing this path. Uh, no, know. I'll be going. Don't worry. Get I'll be going. Um, all right, all right. Hit. I'm I'm gonna follow 20. you in just because observer can't see things. Oh, it's at the a moment. two plus seven, <laughs> so a nine. Nine. All right. So you hit the second door and like your horn goes through it, but that's it. Am I it stuck? Work. Uh, not necessarily. If I try to... I guess, I, you just have we'll a shield a free, now. We'll make a free strength saving throw. Make a free strength saving throw. Okay. We'll let that determine. You Remember, it's oh, the rhino's strength. It's the rhino's strength, which... But that table in the middle of the room is obliterated. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, plus five to this d20 roll... Love a this 17 plus 5 to 20. Okay, no, you're not stuck in the door. For so a, can like, I for, pull back? <laughs> like, take you the door with back. me? <laughs> it won't take the door with you. Okay, uh, okay. But because technically you it. didn't hit the door's mm -hmm. AC. Um, gotcha. okay. Do I recognize this guy from the brain of the dead guy? So I went let me, in. first of all, let me let me describe the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The sorry. There's lots going on. Uh, there is so much going on here. Uh, this is. <laughs> Uh, uh, th this room. This is a 20 by 30 foot chamber thickly strewn with rugs, carpets, and tapestries all over the walls, floor, etc. Probably maybe what tripped up Nova, like suddenly there's just carpet and like lost a little <laughs> bit of momentum. Um, illumination comes from several candelabra, several hanging lamps, and a fireplace. You see plush furniture and soft cushions everywhere about the room except the middle of the floor where the you know and their meals there's probably food on there <laughs> uh the furnishing colors here are all bright scarlet hot orange fiery gold and brilliant blue small tables hold held ewers and cups <laughs> and dishes of nuts and sweet meats a large box stands near the fireplace. Uh, the plastered ceiling is painted with depictions of demons and humans engaged in lewd activities. Uh, um, a figure garbed in a, uh, a, a, a fine hooded robe is relaxing <laughs> on a chase lounge. He was sipping a cup of wine. Now he's just sort of like... Actually, it's probably splashed all down his front at this point. Um, he, I mean, his, his robe is gold and has embroidered skulls on the front and back. Uh, and you can see he also wears a golden chain and fire amulet. Um, whatever armor he might have beneath the robes, you can't see, but he does have a shield just loosely strapped to his arm. Um, He's kind of just like slack jawed while on the other side of the door, before Nova broke out of the door, you can just hear um, a woman's voice. What the sudden hell is that? From the other side of the door. <laughs> Roll fucking initiative. 
Yes. Okay. I I have an idea. Why but... is my initiative? It yes. would be the rhinos. The I have, rhinos initiative. I have an idea, but I, the three's initiative oh, no. has been. <laughs> I never know reason. what I'm going to get from you guys, and I. Love what is your what is initiative? It's Dex. It is Dex. Yes. <laughs> good. Minus one to this. That's good. That's really uh, good. Tim, mm -hmm. before the ramming happened, can I say I cast major armor on myself? Uh... I feel like it's probably too I, late I now. gave him a heads up I mean, that I was doing that's all true. of that. That's true. Yeah, you yeah. did give a heads up. I would say that's fine. I'll allow it. Yeah. Oh, 17 um, initiative for the Rhino. Fuck yeah. There's some high initiative in there. Also, and Cora. Uh, for Cora. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, just like, does... whoa, a Rhino. <laughs> does this count as a surprise round with the, the Rhino? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely surprising. I don't know what else to call it <laughs> if not surprising. Because, because things I can do <laughs> during surprise rounds. That's I just good, don't know good. if it like, technically counts for me to be able to attack, that's all. This is a unique situation. <laughs> Listen, I just want to charge in here. You have never used a wild shape form for the first time and not done something surprising <laughs> no. with it, so. And not just charged into somewhere. <laughs> Listen, if, you, if you're not experimenting with your wild shape like that, you're playing your druid wrong. I'm not going to tell you how to play I, a druid. I just that. love how you go, I've got this new wild shape. Let's do it in the smallest place possible. <laughs> no, no, no. no. She okay, so when you, said, when you said on the other side of the door, I didn't think there was this, a small, like, waiting room and yeah a <laughs> lobby before you got to the thing i imagine if three's Fine. like information wasn't real specific it was more just like Whoa. it's so, true so funny it's so funny this love makes it. it better and dracon's probably disappointed we shaking his head back there <laughs> i think the mean, he was, not here he was saying this isn't maybe a, the best idea and like <laughs> come on grandpa as junko led him away but like did as long as a nice door and a, a table. table. Uh, did all of you update your initiative on there on the turn track? Oh, oh shit! No, I let forgot just, I had to do that. Let me just lower mine. Rip. You know I what? Got I got a fucking award inspiration for this. I have to. You guys can pick who it goes to, but I think it's like Nova who gets it. it goes to. <laughs> Drake on right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inspiration. Unless you have it already. I and don't to have think it already. She wanted to do this with the Ankylosaurus. Yeah, that one would have been huge. That would have been too much. So I would have gotten stuck in that antechamber, and then where would we be? <laughs> Still Not in, the room in this other the room. Still in the other room. All right. Uh, have you all uh, updated your, yes. your stuff? Okay. Well. Junko. Ah. Uh, this was. Whew. Need to measure something. Ten. ten. I. Ten, I... Ten feet. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. Excuse me, E3. And then I'm going to attack the gentleman to my right. The one with the, who's still just sitting there with like a wine glass, bewildered? Yep. Okay. That's fair. Um, do I have advantage? You do. Yes. Okay. So ignore the first one. Natural 20. Oh, no. Well, rip. Uh, 10 plus sneak attack. Does that automatically roll? No, it didn't. Uh, or I don't get crit. Sneak attack right? doesn't get multiplied. Only the... Oh. Are we sure? Right. I thought it did. I'm I pretty sure. Did. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but okay. I if, think if you find going off of my, the rogue I saw in Critical Role, it did get doubled. I just know I thought it was opposite of Pathfinder, and I know it does get multiplied in Pathfinder. Should we? Uh, do any dice quickly? that are part of an attack's damage are rolled again on a crit. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So do it again. Yeah, no matter the source of the dice, if it's rolled, it man, says... you're trying to keep me underpowered. 25, 30, 34 oh. damage. An overpowered rogue. All right, oh. so as you move in, he never even had a chance. You, do you want to describe this kill? 
Um, well, I went for the ball, so literally, I just, I've been swinging it for a while, so it's oh. gotten, you know, it's wind-up time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, like, whack him upside the head and make it nice and clean. Oh. <laughs> but it really doesn't look like she meant to kill him, it was just, oops. If you want it to be non-lethal, it's your call. Mm, I have to stay with my character stuff. Uh, No, it's not lethal. <laughs> it is? Okay. So there's a crunch as the ball hits his head, and he's just out on the, the little lounge that he was he was on. Sorry, guys. I rolled low. There's... Okay. Like, there was a hesitation, and then she swung, and instead of, like, you know, breaking his nose into his skull, she just hit him upside the head. Either way, he's probably not going to be waking up he's for some time. And when he does, sure. he may have some brain damage. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> and he'll think the rhino was a hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just be like, what rhino, dude? What are you talking, are you talking about? about? Rhino. A3. Are you talking about? So, A3 runs into the room, probably having seen ball chain head stuff. Quick glance around. But A3's yelling, oh my god, someone let a rhino in here! <laughs> And then he's going to run to the top right hand door and hold an action to smack anything that comes through. <laughs> Make a deception check with advantage? I mean, is it deception? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, that's fine. I mean, you somebody did let a rhino loose. <laughs> You're deceiving. That's uh, not a lie. That's a seven, a 17. <laughs> You were trying to say it's not you, but it was, in fact, you. <laughs> nah, that's fair. I'll, uh, I'll take the deceive. Okay. So, and your action is readied. Yeah, just it hold it. It is the around. rhinoceros. I will uh, back up a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of, like, the wood in the door splinters as your horn pulls out, just leaving, like, this open hole. And you can and see, then... like... An armored half orc woman who's like leaning down, like peeking, oh, looking no. through the oh, hole. Oh, she's gonna regret that. <laughs> <laughs> and I will back up until I bump into oh, Junko no. because I'm not aware of my spatial. Do, do I just get bumped awareness. back into the? I just, I just see with your size and Junko's size, she's probably moving with you if you're moving. <laughs> I, I move until I'm like, oh, there's something there. Don't even bother to look, and then I just charge forward again and just hit that door. Oh boy. Boom. D20 plus seven. Please don't be a natural one. Please 16 plus seven. Nice. That'll yeah, that'll, uh, that'll, that'll 20, hit. 23. Do your damage 23. to the door. Okay. Oh, this is not a charge because I didn't move 20 feet straight towards it. So it's just 2d8 plus five. You've moved, what, five feet so far? 10 feet? Yeah. 10 feet, five back and then five forward. Okay. Well, right, so five. Oh, I got two ones. Seven oh. damage on the door. <laughs> so 14 damage to the door. Nice. All right. You hit that door again, and this time, like, your whole head breaks through the door, but the door holds, and now there's just, like, a giant snorting rhinoceros head in this <laughs> This is not how I mean for this to go! <laughs> okay. Pointing, like... <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I'll just angrily huff at whoever's <laughs> on the other side of this door. I don't know. That's all I got. That's it. I'm just going to remove the door marker at this point, but note that it still blocks movement. Okay. Though, once you back away from it, there is a hole. Technically, someone could climb through the hole that your head has made in the door. Oh, so I'll uh, huff and then I still have movement, I think. Oh, my God. How many doors are in this place? And I'll, I'll just back up a little bit again. <laughs> like, I'm going to do it again, but I won't because I don't have another attack. So, Cue Rambi kicking the foot, getting ready to... <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> like, there's a matador there. I guess and you I'm can a remove bull. the cure it. Uh, <clears throat> turns out he couldn't cure it. Dracon. Okay. I'm going to move first 30 feet to here. Hey, these are some nice pillows in this room. This door. I haven't trampled them. This door here is open, right? 
No. No. It's got a hole uh, in it. There's a rhinos- rhinoceros head-sized hole in the middle of it. Do I see the person? Yes. You okay. can still hear her cursing, too. There seems to be somebody on the other side of that rhinoceros-sized hole in Scora. Um, do you have a suggestion? Oh, never mind. I'll cast my ball. Oh. <laughs> I can't see past um, the rhino butt. <laughs> it's okay, I missed. It's fine. Uh, oh no. Oh, you rolled a natural one. Yeah. No. Yeah. You throw it and you can just hear a fuck. I, so the half orc is no longer visible in the doorway, having moved. Can I say with my miss, I hit um, Nova? No. Oh. What? No. My big ass is in the way. <laughs> Usually, I save that for when, like, I, I feel like here with how big she is and how close, I feel like there's just very minimal chance that you'd hit her without intending to. Okay. He's trying to kill me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, no, he, no, no you can no, trust no. him. No. It's, it's good. <laughs> uh, I didn't get any okay. private messages when I didn't play. Mm-hmm. Cora. Mm-hmm. Okay. How tall is a rhino? Uh, it is. About five foot. It's just five feet tall. It's a large beast. Let's see. Okay, if I can, I would like to run forward, jump on top of the rhino on my way, yes. Yes. run down the rhino, yes. and like, land yes. in this room. You want to do like so the, the cool. corkscrew, for the, the torpedo jump through the door? Yeah. You're going to trinity it. You yeah, can awesome. use me as a, a I pull out my board. guns. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess this would be an acrobatics check. Make an acrobatics check. Okay. It's fairly a difficult. Rhino? You got this. What? I've if been fail jumping by... off of rhinos my whole life. <laughs> if you fail by less than five, you succeed in the rhino business. Okay, you failed by more than ten. Um, oh, or you okay. failed by exactly will... ten. I, I will re-roll. What? I have uh, inspiration. How... Oh, yes! You... Yes! I'll use my inspiration. <laughs> yes! Again. How's 16? You only failed by four. So, you make it onto the rhino. You're running. You do the, the corkscrew torpedo jump. And, like, you don't quite have the... the the momentum that you need and you end up like half into the door and <laughs> um, like you're able oh, to no. come out into the room, but you got hung up in the hole in the door. So you end up prone in the room. Right, right here? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, like the, horn, half orc, the rhino horn like caught me. I was like, oh crap. She's, <laughs> she's kind of recovering and you see that she's got a war hammer. And she's starting to get mad as she's like okay. pressed against the wall. That to wasn't stay. my full movement. Correct. If you have half your movement remaining, you can still get up from prone. I don't have that much. Okay, Let's then you'd have to use me. your action to get up from prone. Or you could use your action to attack while prone or do something else while prone. You said it's half my movement? To get up, yes. Well, my movement stopped here. Is that correct? What's your speed? 45. So, mm-hmm. yes, that would be where your movement stopped. So it'd be, I have 15 feet of movement left, so that wouldn't be enough, technically. Correct. I would need 22.5 feet of movement. So you'd need 25 feet of movement to get up, yeah. Okay, I attack from down here. That's fine. Okay. I punch her in the dick. Oh, okay, yeah. she's in plate armor, just so you know. Ooh, they they Michael's. have a cup on them, don't. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, what? To cast a spell next to somebody. No downside can... to it. Okay, I'm gonna. So use if it my... has a ranged attack, it is at disadvantage. It is no ranged attack. Okay. That I. No, it's not. Okay, she puts her hands up like this. I almost yelled the attack name. This is a DBZ. And Isn't it? Out, no! <laughs> Zero <laughs> Dark Strike! <Hi-ya! laughs> That's uh, how spells sorry. work. 
Uh, yep. So you need to make a dex save. I mean, oh, is there a verbal component? No. Ah. Uh. Oh darn. It's not. It's not a spell. Oh, I. I just real. Well, okay. I'll treat that as the d20 roll that I got. Uh, okay. Well, I did not succeed. <laughs> Essentially, it's like burning hands. It's like searing light coming out of my hands. Nice. Okay, so, it's quite radiant. is it fire damage? Uh, let me see. Yes, radiant damage. No, that's not fire damage. That's radiant damage. I was just saying, let me see. It's radiant damage. Well, you said yes. I said yes, let me see. <laughs> it's radiant damage. Uh-huh. 13 uh, radiant damage. Okay, 13 radiant damage uh she suddenly yelps uh like trying to get like something between her and you as just all of this light blasts out from you washing over her does she like it no <laughs> okay i do though uh that's it for the surprise round wait hold on let me double check something oh boy it's okay does that count as my uh, like, can I do a bonus action still with that? If you have a bonus action. Why wouldn't I have a bonus action? If you have anything you can do with a bonus action. Monks. Stunning uh, strike. No, have to hit oh, someone as your action first. I could, not, I could not have done that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I have to attack before I could do that because that's the bonus action. So we'll keep that, but I'll also attack. So I'm going to do my two attacks. At disadvantage, oh. is that correct? Yep. Because I'm prone. Yep. Yep. Okay. So disadvantage. So as she's like recoiling from the brilliant eight. light, uh, eight is not going to hit her as you try okay. to kick her feet out from under her. And here's the other one. Seventeen. Seventeen is not going to hit. Yeah. Does she have Blade a shirt? Armor. I mean so yeah, you don't do your you don't do your radiant. No, thing? I still. So I have to attack, and the the searing arc strike has to be a bonus action. I just got it mixed up. Okay, got just it. Gotcha. Reversed. So I just had to attack and do that. Her AC is going to okay. be crazy. Would yeah. it Beefy. would it not be a straight roll because it's advantage for surprise? Oh yeah, attack. yes it oh, would. That's true. So that's only the first one. So seventeen is not going to hit. So you might still do a punch. But would it the you have advantage five? and disadvantage. Oh, so yes, make another. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. So make another roll. Yes, make one more. The first was seventeen and eight. Or oh, oh, wait oh, a no. minute, wait a minute. What? Uh, you would just take the first one from both of those rolls, right? Three. Oh well, the first that is the first one from both of those. Yeah. So. So nothing changed. Yeah, it'd be Bad three luck. and twelve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sad. A nine. Alas. Uh, a I 12. Tried. Okay, so a 12 doesn't... Nice try. All right, Junko, it's your turn. Uh, Junko is gonna walk around the, the rhino and, like, <clears throat> this one too? And point at the other door for a second. And then she's going to, uh... Gotcha. Uh, let the chain fall around her and pull out the wakazashi. Okay. You draw your... 25 to hit well technically i don't think you have the ability to hit her now that she's like back out of the way of the door the door is still oh. shut oh well, then... there's just a, a hole in the middle of the door i just didn't want to be like her. i just didn't want to be in the middle of the thing because I, I don't think you you, well right you don't want to we don't want to do that but in order to do this you i guess she'll have cover is what it would be she would just have really good cover Okay. okay. Well, I can move here if it like. So does, uh... twenty-five is actually going to hit her, even with superior cover. Nice. Yeah. And then I said Wakazashi. Okay. Seven damage. Okay. And do I get sneak? You do because Cora is well. No, I'm you wouldn't prone, because Cora that... <laughs> is prone. Yes, that does affect it. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. And I will okay. act as distraction. Huzzah! All right, so yeah, suddenly, like, you're reaching through this hole in the door with your wakizashi trying to slash <laughs> her. Step, 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 step. <laughs> you manage to sink the blade in like, a, a joint <laughs> in her armor. E3. 
Um, yeah, I completely forgot about the fact that they weren't going to be coming through that door, surprising all that. So Ithri is going to try and open the door, if, see if it's locked. It is not. Open. It's a good idea, Yeah, he's though. opening the door, then. Okay, you pull the door open. That is unfortunate. All of that, and it wasn't even locked. Um, <laughs> the door is out of the way now. Uh, I can't see through it, unless... Uh, you that should be is able a... to. I've, I've deleted evil. the door. I've definitely deleted the door. Let me see if I can oh, see. Oh wait! Oh 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 oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was on. I was looking at the wrong door. I didn't realize that's the door you meant. Goodness. There we go. That's Apologies. Empty. Apologies. Was that the correct door? That's yes. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's hard to see. Everything is very transparent because I'm on a different layer. No, that's fine. Uh, so it's hard to see where you're at. Uh, so, yeah. I guess Pushing that's... that door open, you see a side room, about 10 feet by 20 feet and much less lavishly furnished. You see a few tapestries and several small rugs, uh, torches burning in wall sconces, a small table with a candelabra, a couch, two chairs, a chest, and a brazier. Uh, a book lies open on a small stand near the couch. There are a few serving pieces of brass and copper scattered around, uh, both on the table and stand. Balls. Okay, A3 is going to run over to the far left door and open that one if it's un... un... It's like, is it five foot of movement to open a door? It is. So yes. that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, cool. 30. I'll open this door. That's it. All right. The door opens. You see another side room. Uh -huh. in, uh, in this one, it's furnished pretty similarly to the room to the set that you're already in. But this one has a large bed, uh -huh. two small side tables, a round table with four chairs, a stand with a basin, an ewer, not a ewer, gross, a small copper box, and a wardrobe. Uh, there is a brass brazier filled with brightly glowing coals, giving off wisps of sulfurous-smelling incense. You see a large brass chest with a heavy lock at the foot of the bed. And seated at the table is a man garbed in a robe of deep crimson with a purple lining and gold trim. He appears to have been writing something on a piece of parchment, but now like, he's looking at you in startlement. Um, he's going to be startled. So, Ithri takes the last five feet of movement he's got into the room and then just does a bear rah at the guy because he's going to rage. Oh, ah. goody. So let me know. Let me know how rage go. Uh oh. Oh, why, why does it make you slap your face every time? <laughs> you turn into a potted palm tree for one minute. Um, you cannot willingly end the rage, but you have two possible actions that you can take. Do you throw coconuts? <laughs> you can throw coconuts up to 30 feet as a ranged oh, attack. No! Dealing 1d8 plus strength modifier damage. Give us coconuts! Or oh my you God. can bend and bludgeon any adjacent creature as a melee attack, dealing 2d6 plus strength modifier damage. Throw oh a my God, what is this While game, a tree, bro? you have resistance to all weapon damage, but vulnerability to fire. Oh, typical. Okay. Oh, you gain a plus two bonus to your chapel. AC while you are a tree. A plus two on top of... My current AC? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so oh, like, oh, have you got have you got a uh, token for this? I really hope so. A palm to be token. honest, I didn't make one yet, but I bet I have. I bet I I bet I, I do. <laughs> so here three goes, rah whoop, it just turns into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, finally, character art I can draw a palm tree. <laughs> so, Man, this guy I'm has got to be sorry. like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, He's probably even more before. confused than there was a rhino out here. Oh, yeah, this is God. pretty confusing. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> it's got hit points and everything. That's amazing. So, because Ithri's in his chaos mode, I don't know yeah. that he even noticed. I mean, you can move. Tree? He will. He will notice. But in that moment, because he's pulling out a light hammer to throw at the guy. But it's actually... And, and then it turns into uh, a yeah, coconut. I don't think he realises until he lets go that it was the coconut. And then he's like, oh, oh, I'm a tree. Uh, but he doesn't say that loud because he's a tree. God. <laughs> you just see like the twee t tree twisting around like a coconut rolls out into a leaf. <laughs> then you just see like the tree kind of lean over and is looking it's at so the coconut. Uh, Straightens back <laughs> <laughs> We need art of this ASAP. And then just like, magic. And yeah. I imagine like the the we the leaf whipping it as well, like a whoop, yep. straight at the guy. <laughs> um, what and am I, I attacking the with? Was surprising. How do I attack? Shall so I? Shall you're, I? You're throwing the coconut, so this would be uh, just a standard. Like you're you're throwing it. Yeah, it's just a range attack for you. Um, I don't know that I have it, it, any... It is strength-based. Sorry, it is a strength-based It is strength, so attack. I can just make yeah. a, a a standard unarmed kind of... That would do the same, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 19 to hit. Believe it or not, that's not going to hit him. I did believe like, that, yeah. As he's sitting here, he kind of has just a moment where he gets the shield up and just thunks Wait, it away. you said he's sitting? He is sitting, yes. Isn't that prone? And a ranged attack. That would make it disadvantage. Yeah. So, you're right. Roll it again with no. no uh, sorry. I'll, I'll roll it again no, just no, to it see how. You <clears throat> it wasn't a natural yeah. one. It's fine. Um, cool. Do I? Ha so can I only do because I have extra attack? Can I only throw one coconut? No, you can still do your multi attack. Coconuts, bitch. I'm throwing in there. Can I can I throw coconuts reckless, recklessly? No, because that's only on melee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll have to go. He if he gets close to you. So, you Twenty four like, to hit. Twenty four will hit. Him. Lean over and hit him. What what's yeah. the damage? Sorry, one d eight. One d eight plus your strength modifier, and you get your rage damage as well, of course. Okay, so hang on. So one d eight, which is six. Plus four, ten, plus rage, which is two. So, twelve coconut damage to this guy, please. <laughs> it's been a surprising day for the fire temple. I have a question. Uh huh. If you was to crack open one of the coconuts, what would it taste like? Because it's technically coconut. easy. It tastes like coconut. Yeah, it's it's. Oh coconut. my god. Full of milk. Oh god. Okay. We'll have to see if they're still there when I change back. So <laughs> e, e, e free milk. I, I, I that go. is r one round of plant fight. Oh yeah. no! You wanted to know why I face palmed. So the only other ah. thing, only other thing I need to know is, is it my hit points? Yes. Okay. Actually, I guess it would be E three who face palmed. Uh. Mm. No, it Nova. doesn't have a face. It's just palm palm. Yeah, your Don't face. Don't forget to add into palm. initiative. Face palmed. You're a pup. Oh yeah, I'm not oh, in. I'm not in the third order now. I can yeah, still see it. I can still see oh, okay. it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. It's just on the GM layer. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's all right. <clears throat> Nova. Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Fortunately, you've been. Sp oh no, you can probably see him. I so I can see him. I I think I'm the only one who saw this happen. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, spatial awareness, Nova. Spatial awareness. Yeah, I blocked the door as well. I'm real Don't sorry. Don't think I can fit. Well, I could get past you because you could pass through allies, but I. Well, so I okay. Here's a question for then. me to go. Am I in a pot? Can I push him? Yeah. Push him in a pot. Am I he in, is a pot? in a pot? Yes. Can he I move? Can I it's move E3? Yeah. Like, if I want to go in there and then just, like, nudge him with my head. You can move him. He is going to be heavy, and woe on E3 if you break the pot. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do now because I can't charge in front of me because I'll hit my friend. I would. <laughs> you don't have to charge. You could just go in and go whack. Well, there's no yeah. room. 
That you could, sound very Nova Cream. You could you. probably try and destroy the door without hitting Jinko, right? The door's already open. Oh, no, no, it's the not. Middle That's door. the door, right. Do the hole. I don't want to um, hurt. You could do a full thing. charge through like you did with the other door. Like, try to break the door and the half orc and the door beyond. Like, do a just. Oh, yeah, there is a door beyond that. I'll, I'm going to yeah. do that. I'm going to full charge just like just mashing everybody up against the wall. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Well, Cora's anymore. already prone, so it should actually be fine. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Just don't get trampled. <laughs> don't trample me. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it works, but I cool. know, but in your face. Okay, attack. D20. Come on. That's a 9 plus 7. 16. You hit. Yay. I did not move 20 feet. No, wait. I was here. 5, 10. I only moved 15 feet because I'm stupid. Uh, well, you've got to not... hit the, the half orc now, too. Oh, I have to hit the half orc, too? Yes, but this will be a disadvantage because at the moment of attack, you are squeezing. Because you're basically all on the right side. Yep. Okay. Uh, Alright, it's going to give you the total of 2d20 rolls. So just look at the 2d20 rolls and add 7 mm -hmm. for the disadvantage. 5 plus 7, 12. 12 is not going to hit the half orc. So okay. you just sort of, well, she was already like pressed against the wall. So that makes sense. But you go okay. right through the door. Uh, mercifully, Cora isn't trampled. Now the next door. All right. Next door. Be good. Good God. So many things. <laughs> oh, it's another five plus seven, 12. 12 is not going to hit. It is an AC of 15 if you want to. Did I'm going to use my it? inspiration to re-roll. Are you really? <laughs> yes, I am. Because fuck doors. It's only fair. It's only fair. Fuck doors. Okay. Oh, no, okay. Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20 against the door. All right. I did great uh, damage on that door! <laughs> yes, you do. So go ahead and let's let's see. It's also All vulnerable. Right. So this is times four. <laughs> Plus well, no, five. It, it oh yeah. Eleven plus five damage. Double. Well, eleven. 11. You don't. Add, you don't add the plus five. The five doesn't. Okay, get twenty-two and then five, twenty-seven damage. Total. And then double it'd be, that. It'd be forty. Oh, and then double that because it's vulnerable. Oh 44 shit. Forty-four plus five. The forty-nine damage. Yeah, that math. Yeah, that door is not coming back. The door literally explodes. Destroyer of doors. And you can keep going as far as, as your movement. So I move 15 feet, so I will move. <laughs> 20. So I can move another. I can think, I think I can move to there. Hang on, let me measure just to make sure. Da, 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 da. I can move one more forward. So I will. And then I'll just turn and look at these guys in the room that I just came across and just yep. snort at them again. <laughs> so as you came barreling through yet another door, this time uh, you come into a plastered chamber, uh, but it's unpainted and largely unremarkable except for a few notable features. There's a flowing fountain uh, and a basin on the west wall right by you. Nice. A nice. stone fireplace on the east wall and a table and benches in the center. The furniture is a bit too large to be comfortable for humans. Uh, there's a sizable haunch of unidentifiable meat on the table and an old barrel in the center of the north wall uh, full of javelins. You can see heaps of bedding along the south wall. Excuse me. Uh, no, you can't. That's that's actually around the corner. Uh, never mind. Strike oh, okay, that from the record. Okay. Standing around the table, well, actually sitting at the table, are a number of hairy humanoids in crimson capes, while others rest out of sight. So strike that from the record also. Okay. Three hairy humanoids. Got it. Yeah. That's my turn. <clears throat> Now it's their turn. Great. Um, just so you're aware, the observer can't see what the rhino can see. So be more descriptive. Well, it's not a problem now. Just they're be... just all there's 
be I'm more descriptive that. with what's happening. That's all I'm. Why can't saying. the observer see? That doesn't sound right. Weird. Do me a favor. Refresh observer one more time. One Please. more time. By opening your eyes, observer. Yeah. Oh, hang observer, on. Hang on. Geez. Let me. Uh... I don't know if that's fixed it yet. It's thinking. It is real funny. It's having a good old think. Yeah, I'll deal with this. You you deal with whatever they were okay. doing. Um. Well, their tactics are completely irrelevant now because you. They were not prepared for this. But they don't uh, have. What happens if Rhino comes in room in their tactics? No, no. It turns they should out have they that in their. They're going to now. Just annihilating doors. Um, well, first of all, they're gonna get the frick up. All of them like jump to their feet. Uh, I'm just one, like staring you, crazy at them. Back and like grabs a javelin and immediately hurls it at you. Ooh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen to hit. Uh, that will hit. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, okay, that'll hit for seven points of piercing damage. Seven points of piercing. As a javelin hits you. The other two look longingly at the, the javelins. This one, <laughs> wisely, is going to run around, double moving to get over uh, here. Oh, okay, okay. And grab a javelin, while the other one is just going to draw a morning star and try to have a go at you. <laughs> uh, ten to hit. That misses. I okay. somehow dodged that. I don't so he, I like to think you parry it like with the horn. It mm -hmm. goes to swing and your horn just catches it. I like it. I like yeah, it. I mean, you basically got a sword on your nose. So yeah. Um, and one of the bugbears at this moment chooses to yell, "We're under attack!" Oh shit. Uh, uh oh. I mean, in which one yelled the, that? I'm going after that one first. <laughs> this one, the one who threw okay. the javelin at you. Snitches get stitches, bitch. Um, yeah, exactly. Can you quickly check your Discord DM. Uh oh. Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Observer I... isn't seeing Rhino stuff, by the way. Don't know Weird. Why. Bizarre. We'll deal with it later. I okay. am going to move twenty-five feet through here to here. Um, this fellow here is prone, right? Technically, he hasn't. No. Got uh, well, yeah, I guess I guess he is. I guess he is. So when he ranged attack is at disadvantage. Correct? Yes. Yes. Why, why are you saying it like that? that? That doesn't help me. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to... Firstly, I'm going to hold on to my... Uh, my my arcane focus and I'm going to start tracing runes into the air that mm -hmm. crackle with fiery energy <clears throat> with my left hand I'm going to unsheath a dagger from my belt and I am going to slice my hand and as I slice my hand dark energy is going to seep from the cut and surround mingle with the runes that are floating in the air and with that i need to do hang on don't, don't mind me guys what the, the change okay. in music okay so that's okay and i am going to cast um scorching ray at the fellow in the room with the palm tree fire so damage okay each ray i have to roll for at disadvantage Roll first one. That's a 23 to hit. Oh shit, I think that'll actually hit him. That will actually hit him. So he takes for the first one 19 damage. You'd think being the priest of fire, he'd have fire resistance. Yeah. But no! Oh, he, he does. How much damage, I'm sorry? 19. 19 fire damage. Okay. And the second Scorching Ray at disadvantage. I will note, Natural by the way. 20, oh, oh, one, nine. that is so tragic. 
would you say? Uh, yeah. As the first beam sears through the air, yeah. it leaves a trail in the air behind it of just like smoking emptiness, where it's almost like the air itself has been burned away to nothing. And when it strikes him, he's like, he's like burning. And you can see that the burn crackles with like eldritch dark fire. Before going the, the last ray, 17 to hit. 17 will not hit. <sighs> All right. That is my turn. What the okay. heck, man? That's fine. No big deal. And I yeah, tried to make. Yeah, change an ominous music. I'm, I'm, Sounds almost, I'm almost certain nobody saw me do that. I'm a plan. People I don't have eyes. Positioned and <laughs> facing. Uh, yeah, E3's on blind sight right now, and the only one who might have no noticed is looking. Junko. Do a perception check. <laughs> uh, I will oppose it. So twenty I versus twenty. I don't think I I'm going to leave it to her discretion if she saw it or not. Because, I mean, you're shooting right past her and she's kind of facing that way, so I'll leave it up to her if she saw or noticed. I thought she was cares. looking in the room, but yeah. Fine. Either way. Okay. Uh, and the the natural okay, one like caught a couple of E3's leaves on fire and they just burned away to ashes. Really? No damage or anything, but E3's got not like E3's a bald leaves. spot. That, that better not have burnt my beard when I turn back. You might have some bald patches. Oh, uh, no! I mean... He's got the same hair and style as me. That's fine. Alram is going to leap from his chair, uh, thoroughly surprised to see a lot of things happening here. A plant? Uh, <laughs> a guy that screamed and then turned into a plant. <laughs> 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 yeah, it probably seemed yeah, like right a now. scream of like terror or agony or something that just ended with him turning into a tree. Yeah, because uh, canonically it like magically sounds a bit like a bear, right? So yeah. it didn't sound even human. The I mean, don't you hate it when somebody just bursts into your office, <laughs> screams, and then turns into a potted palm tree? And then throws coconuts it's at you. Free office decor, you. though. Not free office lie, decoration. I would love it, besides the coconut throwing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. But like, new plant for me. Office plant. <sighs> um, okay. So, Alram Surrenders. is now standing. God, this is a lot. <laughs> Ah, oh, he spelled his name wrong. <laughs> There's this is a lot. Um, I was not ready. Okay. For a rhino. Tactic for a, tactics for, for if bit? a rhino comes in, if a potted plant comes in. <laughs> <laughs> They're updating their tactics books. On my sanctum. Emics give me power. And his warhammer. Bursts into flames. Uh oh. Oh, it's three now. <laughs> oh no. Spend a third level spell slot for that. Oh no. I hate palm trees. <laughs> uh, I've never been to the beach and I'm an resentful. Extra... <laughs> oh boy. This is I'm also hurt. allergic to coconut. He is going to advance toward the palm tree weirdly and past the palm tree. And provoke? Oh no, only if he leaves the area. Mm. He's gonna go here to 20. Now he's gonna provoke. Okay. okay. Smack him. I will use yeah, my- Yeah, this would be your smack. I will use my plant reactions. I presume it's still same as a, an unarmed. It is, yes. Yeah. But the damage is gonna be a little different. Well, I rolled a six, so it's not. Oh, yeah. Tree, like, tries to bend down, whipping at him, and he just... With his shield oh, no. bashes the tree out of the way. He's advancing on Dracon. He can't quite get there this turn, though. Oof. So Hello. instead, he's going to round on Junko. I don't know what this is or who sent you, but if you come from Romag... The devil to pay. And he's going to attack Junko. Yes, we're with Romag. We're with the Earth Temple, bitch. 
with the Warhammer. The also, Ava, I promise I'm not trying to murder you. It just keeps happening. Um, ooh, I might have missed. I think I missed. That's only an eight to hit. Second wow. attack incoming. You might survive. I, I rolled a three and then a three. Yay! So that was a spell slot well spent. As he's swinging at you, like, you are bobbing, weaving. You're definitely not looking at the door anymore. He's swinging at you hard, and, like, as the first swing misses and strikes the wall, or the the door frame, uh, flames explode from the head of his hammer, uh, searing the wood and even the stone behind it, sending embers everywhere. The second swing leaves embers over you. He just cut, cuts through the air, um, but as that swing ends, the flames on his hammer go out. Oh. Stand still! I just raised my eyebrow at him. No. The half orc <laughs> is up. No! <laughs> uh, so, a rhinoceros just ran through the room. That happened. Uh, she's gonna shake it off. She's going to attack Korra by drawing, uh, where is it, where is it? <clears throat> I guess I she's going to draw, hmm? This is her first turn! Yeah, she no, hasn't hit anything. Korra was on her feet. Oh, no, Korra's prone. She's yeah. going to raise her warhammer, and Another she's going to attack Korra with the warhammer twice. Oof. 14 to hit. Did you roll with advantage? I did. It does not hit. Nice. Second attack. Uh, I need better lighting so I can see these numbers. Uh, she misses twice. Uh, but the necklace around her neck begins to glow red. Oh, by the way, I have a handout of what all these fire amulets look like. I apologize. I should have showed you guys that. There you go. It begins to glow. And Not a necklace of fireballs, is it? She is going to cast spiritual weapon. I do like fireball. And a mm. flaming warhammer materializes near you, Cora, and attacks you. Where did I just put my Good. D20s? Yeah, that's great. It does not get advantage against you, though, I believe. It's a natural 20. Oh. That misses. <laughs> yeah, that does miss. Corey can't be hit by crits, actually. Uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Mom, she's, sure. a she's a construct. <laughs> yeah. God, I mean... Constructs. <laughs> Not that I crit them ever, but... You know. Um. Okay. It is... Bonus section... Sorry, looking for the attack bonus. Okay, plus, yeah, so it'd be 23 to hit. Uh, what is D8. Oh, God. Uh, you take 11 points of fire damage, Korra, as this burning warhammer flies through the air, slamming down into you, spilling embers across your back. That's it. It is your turn now. Okay. I will stand up. In the cool monk way, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. flip onto your hands and then vault up to your feet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotcha. Uh, and I will attack. Full attack. Oh, okay. Uh, quarterstaff. Yes. 16. 16 is not going to hit. She's in plate armor. Under strike 13. Will not hit. Uh, bonus action. Okay. 15. Oh will not hit. God, these dice rolls. <laughs> and I will uh, use, I think, a key point. Ooh, flurry of blows. What? No. No? Oh. Let me just... Where is it? 
I don't know. Don't yell oh. at me. Uh, I'm also, shut up. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, yes. I'll use a key point to do step of the wind to disengage. Okay. Ooh, Smart. Nice. Okay. And I will go Smart. here. Give June Coco. All right. Perfect. And that is it. Moving around behind all of them. Uh, Junko, it is your turn. Okay. I'm not muted. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, she's going to look between the two and she's going to start with all because he looks pretty, pretty sketchy. Uh, and she's going to go for the Wakazashi hit again. Uh, 25 to hit. Jesus, with these hits. Yeah, that'll hit. Um, and do I get sneak? Uh, scores adjacent. I can never tell anymore. Uh, you, yeah, you get, do get sneak. Fl- yeah. We're flanking. Yeah. Okay. You don't actually then, need to flank in, in fifth edition. You just have to be adjacent. Oh, okay. So, um, it's, so, it's going to be 21 nine. damage. 21, and then 8 damage to the person on the other side of the broken door. Okay, the half-orc. All right, so your Wakizashi plunges in, uh, going like just around the shield, slashing across his ribs, and as it does so, like his blood spatters across the wall and floor, and from it, wisps of necrotic souls uh, scream and wail and fly through the half-orc, who takes 8 Ow. Yeah, this is only going to get more painful, so. Mm hmm. Uh, and then my second hit. Ugh. Which is. I guess I have to pull out the comma. That's one hand, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do have plus two to hit because you're flanking with Korra, though. Yeah. I. 15. I honest- I honestly couldn't tell which that was. Yeah, 15 to hit. That is not going to hit. Okay. So now, uh, as he's grimacing in pain, he's he parries you effectively. Uh, and I... I go for a third attack! I'm just kidding, I don't have one. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wish, I wish I could do more than one attack. Should I be a caster? So, I'm going to go, coconut, coconut! That's what A3's saying in his head. So first one's 23 to hit. <laughs> we'll hit! What the <laughs> fuck? Hell <laughs> yeah. I'm living my, my best, best coconut life. What can I say? Uh, what was uh, a D8 plus, what yep. did we work out Strength. earlier? Strength and rage. Four, six. So that's five plus six. 11 damages. 11, 11 coconut damages. Oh All right, the coconut, <laughs> like once again, cracks into his skull. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Finish him. Uh, Nineteen to, to hit. And being late? Nineteen is uh. not going to hit. Uh. So I'm going to use two chat blessings. Nah. Taking out with the coconuts. There's like as funny as a coconut kill would be. I'm, I'm all right with someone else getting a kill. <laughs> Can you imagine okay. going to your boss and being like, yeah, I got defeated by some coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> some guy turned into a plum and killed me We're with just... coconuts. Yeah. The mistranslation of kill them with kindness. Somebody got it way wrong. Uh, Nova. Okay. Um, I somehow, I don't know. I lost control of my token. I don't know how, but anyways. Huh? It like refreshed the... the... Yes. It's not the me page and then I refreshed the whole page because it, it wouldn't it was just loading the rhinoceros stats and then uh and then I didn't have control over the token anymore so I don't do really you, know what happened do you now yes okay it's being very strange it's because Roll it's 20 an is NPC being token it's because it's an oh. NPC token it's restricting you to it for when you have initiative it's shenanigans Weird. involving observer and but gotcha. you can control. Gotcha. I okay. Okay. No, no, no. It's totally fine. I just didn't know if I broke something. Okay. I will. What am I gonna do? Currently, there are three bugbears in the room with three. you. One coming at you with a morning star. One holding a javelin. One about to pick up another javelin. I'm going to. 
Oh, I want to move 20 feet straight towards one, but there is no 20 feet. That's 15 feet. And Empty. also, you know, table in the way. I know you're a rhinoceros and everything, but... I'm just going to smash it. Um, <laughs> duh. Duh. I will... This is not going to make much sense, but I'm going to back up a little bit. You can go the other direction, too. What do you mean? You can go oh. south. Oh. Oh, that's a good <laughs> oh point. no! Half orc. Like, yeah, I'm, in I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> just go straight towards this half orc. All right, in so yeah, like twenty-five feet of movement, hitting you as hard as they can. You're just like ignoring them, turning around, <laughs> bust in the room, go. Oh, there's more in here, and then turn around and go out. So he probably gets an attack of opportunity on me. Uh, yes, yes, he does. Um. Five. Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> nice. All right. And then I will, yeah, I'll just charge straight at this gal. Okay. And, uh, add seven to this to hit. Come on. No, that's not going to hit. It's not going to hit. 13. 13, yeah. All right. So once again, she's like, <gasps> presses against the wall. Well, now they can't go that way, and the other guys can't come this way, so my job is done. <laughs> that's all it, right. That's all I got. Uh, this bugbear is going to move over here. All three of them are going to grab javelins and then move over here and throw them at you. <laughs> right to my butt! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, I gotta remember what my bonus is zero Did I close bugbears why would i do that because they're dead there they're is. dead in our hearts yeah, it's zero, bro. it's fine. uh okay that is 17 to hit that will hit you're more than 30 feet away from the other two so these will be at disadvantage which is good for you mm -hmm. never mind that is going to be a 20 to hit and then with disadvantage mm -hmm. uh six okay that one misses okay. two hits though. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, three, that is going to be a total of seven piercing damage as two more javelins kind of punch into your hide. I just... Whatever a rhinoceros scream sounds like. Oh, God. There you go. Probably horrible. I don't even want to know. No. Terrible. I imagine sort of terrible. like the triceratops from Jurassic Park. Yeah, something like that. But Does that hurt? Face. That hurt a little bit, and they stabbed me in the butt, so... Um, Dracon. <clears throat> um, I want to try something that I wouldn't usually do. I am going Firebolt. to take a five foot step towards Firebolt. this fellow in front of me. Oh, I am going to unsheath my new dagger. My my point my dagger of venom. Okay. And I am going to try and stab this person in the throat. It was <gasps> meant for him. Oh, it was! That's the dagger that Kelna wanted to use on him. Uh-huh. Well, good and luck hitting him. Depending on if this hits. Oh, that was nearly a 17, bro. Well, 9 is uh, not going to no. come anywhere near, unfortunately. Oh, I had a one-liner and everything. God damn it. All right. Oh. Never mind. Um, I will... It would be uh, 12... Chat's blessings if you. <laughs> we have four. We, we have four. <laughs> Quick, guys, give me a. Unless go, you have go, an inspiration. Go. Oh, I do. I, yeah, I want to use my inspiration. Yeah. Oh, all right. Good all right. Good luck. I'm rooting come on, for you. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Natural 20. 18? It, the DC is 21. You could use Chat's blessings. I'm using free Chat's blessings. Do it. Do it. Poison and him. That makes him incapacitated, so only interrogate him. It'll be easier. So he'll take this well, damage he's here, punching, stabbing him in the throat, which is four. That'll kill him. And I will just say, um, oh god, what was his name in the uh, the air temple? Kelno. 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 Kelno yeah. sends his regards, and that will be the the killing blow. And you just plunge the dagger right into his throat. <laughs> And blood is like oozing through his teeth as he rips the dagger out of his throat. And for a moment, you're kind of like, should I have maybe taken the dagger back with me? 
and then he tries to move toward you, Dracon, and like collapses to the floor, the dagger clattering to the floor with him. And he's oh, like no. trying to grab at your knees, his just, blood across your uh, robes. I'll just take a step backwards. Like, please don't touch me. And he like drops again to the floor, gurgling a little longer before falling silent forever. Kara, Kara's looking at Dracon like, What the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't worry, Ithri isn't. And I didn't need to activate the poison <laughs> either because he died. No, so that is true. Junko it's the half orc's nod, turn. Like, damn. Damn. He said he took a level in rogue. <laughs> I got a melee kill, guys. Woo. Yay! <laughs> All right, uh, assassin Dracon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> An He's been training with us apparently. You haven't seen anything yet. The half-orc is staring, and you can see a light of madness in her eyes. I... I serve inmates. I'm the cleric now. Oh, no. And she's going to have the spiritual weapon attack Nova. I'm going to use the big boy. Yeah, use the big one. I keep playing with mine. 20. Two. That definitely hits. You take, or actually it would have been 22. Uh, you take six points of fire damage, Nova. Fire damage. Okay. And that, that was the bonus action. I'm still, I'm still a rhinoceros, guys. Don't even worry. She's going to use a second level spell slot to cast Inflict Wounds, Ooh. targeting Nova. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, shake, the dramatic shaking of the giant dice kills me. 22. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, 4d10. I'm going to have to type this one in. We'll roll. Everyone can see the dice. 4d10. Oof. You take 29 necrotic damage. That was a big hit. I the the rhinoceros form drops and now it's just a skinny girl <laughs> five foot seven on. missing an arm standing in front of this orc like 29 you said yeah okay 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 do you remember what your initiative was by any chance uh as the rhino it was 17 mine is a plus one the rhino had a negative one and i rolled an 18 so 19 it is okay and I take four damage because that damage rolls over. And this, actually, instead of necrotic, I think it would be fire damage. As fire just sears your rhino's flesh, it lets out a terrible cry that turns to Nova's uh, scream. cry of pain. Scream, if yeah. you will. Uh, yes! Feel the touch of Imix. Imix? That's cool. That's cool. Dope. Um. Cora. She's done. Cora. Yo, what the fuck is Imix? Am I back on the map? Because I can't see myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's still doing the NPC thing for me. <laughs> uh. The fuck. So Try Cora's refreshing. gonna walk around this body. Just kind of looking at Dracon. Hello. Like, sadly and disgustedly. <laughs> and then she's going to attack this oh. guy. You just okay. got a disappointed look from Cora. She's not mad. She's just disappointed. Oh! Part of the job. I don't know what 22 to do. 22 hit. Whoa! You finally hit her! That'll do Yay! it. Yeah. And you're flanking. So 24, actually. Eight. Stab her in the throat. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a KO. Non-lethal, hey, I assume. Yes. Okay. Well, she is the. <laughs> Imagine if we and just I, broke Cora and, and just started over being here. lethal. Actually, I'm that's going to end the rest of my attacks on Dracon. I dodge them all just... with amazing speed. Nah, you can't. Yep. Um. Actually, you can only dodge oh. them if you have the Sword of Truth. 
So what are the bugbears down here doing? Oh, right. No, we're not out of initiative. Yeah. Bugbears. Yeah, there's yeah. some bugbears up there. I knew that. <clears throat> I mean, if I shut the door, will initiative go away? The door is no longer. Pressed. There's no door. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. How? In that case, I will shoot uh, my searing light at them. Okay. My radiant sunbolt at the closest one to me. So this one. Actually, probably this one. Less cover, maybe. So here's the True. that. 20 That'll hit. Five. Five damage. All right. You're shooting back now. Uh, and... it, it, it hits him. It just leaves a, a very mild burn, though, it seems like. Uh, okay, I'll use a key point to do it twice more. Oh. 16. Um... Yeah, that'll hit. Ugh, three. And the last one, I was almost in it. Seven? Does seven hit? Seven will not hit. Oh. Okay. All right, so yeah, a number of... Pew, 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 pew. I'm gonna have to show you guys something when we take our break. Wow. It's good. Okay. We have We have wonderful viewers, that's all I will say. Oh, um, and that's all I do. Okay. Ah. Junko. Um. Okay, I assess the situation. <laughs> I look at Dracon, like... Hello. I, we need to talk kind of thing. <laughs> That's the kind of look she just gave him. And then bugbears, how far away? I gotta zoom out. Uh. Everybody wants to talk to me and I have no idea why. Actually, I don't want to talk to you ever again. Okay, oh. never mind. You're just popular, <laughs> that's all. Uh, how far? No, wrong browser. Tripo, 80 feet. Okay, <laughs> so I am going to put my weapons away and whip out that short bow. Utilize my range. I'm going to take a step forward. And at the closest bugbear, I am going to shoot. Okay. Oh, I don't hit. 12? Nope, that's okay. not going to hit. Yeah, goes okay. right into a shield. Little wooden buckler. Okay, and on that note, I am going to... That door's destroyed. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no but... doors to close here. Uh, and I'm just going to... Walk back and turn the corner. Fair. There's at least uh, three. E three. And she waits. Um. I sway. E <laughs> three. He can't move. <laughs> in his mind, just goes. <laughs> Puck, this is one of the weirdest ones you've done so far. Um, that's it. That's that's my turn. Okay. Someone got smooth the plant so Nova. they can throw coconuts. It's still treating me like an NPC, by the way. I'm not very refreshed. I don't know. I Anyways. Understand. That's... Anyways, let me fix my hit points. That's that. It um, has to be because of the observer thing. You can remove that for now if you want. I don't know. Because like it'll just go completely black. I can't see anything on the screen when it's not my turn. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I, I wasn't anticipating dropping my form that early, so back at, no, just kidding. <laughs> um, I will move this way. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25? Um, no, 25, yeah. 
And then I'm going to cast. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What spell's that? It's a it's a cleric no. spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just thought it was a cleric for a second. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast Tidal Wave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems a little excessive, and I'm actually going to go here before I do that. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah, that yeah. seems excessive, not rhinoing through the building? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Um, I'll cast it, like, just so it, it basically goes at a diagonal here and just shoves them all into that corner even further. So okay. they're just on, like, a tangled mess on top of each other if they get shoved by it. So uh, that is a dexterity saving throw. Oh. All right, we've got 17. Success. 17. Success. 21. Success. So they just take half damage and they're not knocked prone. What's the damage? Darn. The damage is 4d8. Oh, that was a good, that was a good roll. 25 halved. That was a good roll. That was a good (laughs) roll. I'm sad. All right, so a tidal wave of water blasts into them, uh, knocking them all backwards, but they all stay on their feet and kind of hit the wall, uh, growling, snarling at you. Uh, The one who had called alarm earlier. Cue the witch! I'm not a witch. You stab my ass. (laughs) That's all I say. (laughs) And then uh, I have, I move 5, 10, 15, 20, so I'm going to go 25. 30 to over around this corner just in case I'm blocking a view of anyone or that's, people come around this way. That's definitely a quote. Okay, well, the bug I'm not are a witch. You shot The wounded ass. one is going to grab a javelin and throw it at you. <clears throat> Aha, nat one. Oh, thank God. Uh, the other two are going to wielding morning stars rush toward you. Okay. And each of them is going to attack you with a morning star. I haven't okay. got a new tank voice. Oh no. Uh, we'll just move the potted plant around. 16 <laughs> is the lower. I'm going to chuck it. That hits, yeah. Okay, so they both hit. Mm-hmm. My AC is 15. This is going to hurt. Uh-oh. It's okay. It's okay. We leveled up. I got more hit points. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, minimum damage from the first one. Four points of piercing damage. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. fairly low again you got lucky uh nine from the second hit hey as they rush toward you just trying to beat you with the the morning stars uh you're able to like get an arm up and you feel a bone crack as one hit is particularly brutal but for the most like you're not going to die from that hit Um, okay okay that's it for the the bugbears dracon I am. Um, what am I going to do? Could do that. No. I'm just going to um, trace some runes in front of me as per usual. Oh, <sighs> bluish hue. Not red, but I am going to cast. Um, what's it called? Ray of Ray Frost. Frost. Yes, sir. At the one at the back. Ah, do you have range? I do, 60 feet from where I am. Okay, gotcha. So, yep, just about. Oh, perfect. And that is a, god damn it, 16 to hit. That'll hit. Oh. Wait, no, it won't. Not he has the soft time. cover. I have sniper. You have spell sniper. Yes. Right on. Okay, yeah, that'll hit for 15, 15. points of cold damage. Uh, your blue beam strikes him just as he's like drawing another javelin. It catches him in the chest and like, Ice encases his upper torso, and he just kind of tips over, and his chest shatters. Sweet. I, I stick my thumb up to core, Renjunko. I don't understand. We, we'd be looking at you funny. Yeah, that's why I did it. <clears throat> I don't understand. Uh, she's done. 
I killed a bugbear at the back and I just thought it was good for us because we are not trying to die today. <laughs> Preferably right. not. We have to meet Burn later. <laughs> yes. We have a dinner date. Oh, is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Cora's like looking down the hall at the bugbears and like she sees movement on her left. Does a double take. Oh, with the plants. <laughs> Ithri? Did they turn you into a plant? How would you oh, recognize no! this as Ithri? It's not a, a plant with a beard. Yeah, but Ithri's nowhere in sight. Fair enough. Okay. And you did go in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And nobody else is in here. So she's like, oh no. Um, how heavy does he look? Um, Same weight as normal, actually. Oh. How heavy? Heavy as fuck. Like 350 pounds, I think it was. Let me have oh, a look. So he's dense. Okay, so she's he's gonna put her hands on he like the, the rim head. of the pot and like drag him back this way. <laughs> Nova! Okay. Nova, help! It's you a may plan! move with Cora. She's getting pommeled Cora. with fucking maces. How far can I? Pommeled? How far can I drag him? Pommeled with maces. Pommeled. pommeled. Like half of my movement, would what you say? Pummeled. Palm. I'm saying palm. Uh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so hold on, if you wish. I'm uh, as okay. she's dragging me, the the leaf is just like patting her on the head. <laughs> I'm gonna drag <laughs> you right up here, buddy. Nova. <laughs> you, you're dragging. I'm dra <laughs> Nova. I'm you're, you're right up here with me, buddy. Right up next. Setting to up me. the artillery. <laughs> yep. It's like oh, she's Nova. wheeling a catapult in. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, if only we no, had like a, a little help. dolly. Just wheel me you around. We have to. We don't know how long this lasts. Get up here, Ithri. You're well, right next Ithri to me. does, but he can't communicate with you. <gasps> Can Sorry. I mind link uh, to you? I was just about to think that too. Or so oh, up that. here. Right here? <gasps> there? Okay. Right here. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. No, Holy uh, heck. Bugbearers don't really know what to make of this. <laughs> Uh, this girl just what? dragging a potted plant into the room. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Junko? Got him after Cora. Oh, there you go. No, no uh. I'm not. I just brain farted. I was thinking about potted plants and stuff. I was just like, I was gone for a whole couple moments thinking about that. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna uh. step forward again, and I am going to knock another bowstring because you know what? No, they they look pretty hurt. What's my movement? Junko, watch out for Ithri's sleeves. I'll pop. I'll, I'll like flop to the side as she passes. <laughs> I don't know how mobile uh, I am, but let me get my speed real quick. Mobile Why enough to like this? hit people. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I you did this. Range. I don't know why I did. This. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crossbow Chaos. is. I'm just gonna drop it on my way. I'll pick it up later. Um, and pull out the Kasayagama. Again, twenty three okay. to hit for. I'm gonna cut a bit. That'll hit. Yeah. For nice. four. You move. You are charging damage. forward, sending the blade flying, and as you tug it back it like slices along it, well i guess it wouldn't be the throat because it's no sneak attack uh along the chest he's going to take four points of damage and then i'm going to do a spin and let the ball go okay <laughs> is it is it not sneak because nova's adjacent to him and she has reach on the weapon you're right i forgot nova's adjacent you do get sneak attack for that first hit and 19 oh. is also going to hit i don't I don't, I don't see Nova, but okay. you don't need to. He just needs That's... to know she's there. I'm around the corner. Oh, okay. Um, sneak attack. Oof. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he's dead. Okay. Well, I don't have 15 feet, and I don't have another five feet to move. So I'm just. I you guess I'm gonna bank. Action dash. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no bank. The bank no, of that. No, I meant like I was gonna put it in the bank and just like you know keep it there, <laughs> like I because I can't do it. I can't. I can't really move. Okay. I mean, we're unless done. you bonus we're action done. dash. I could, but yeah. I you won't. won't. 
You will. Yeah, I'm just kind of going to step on the bugbear. And get ready for, to attack again. Okay. Uh, E3. You know what E3 is going to do. He's, throw he's been coconuts. wheeled in as coconut artillery, he presumes. <laughs> yeah. Um, do it's I have... Sorry, we'll get you to Nova. She can talk to plants, I think. <laughs> so, so Cora's trying to get me to Nova, and Ithri's like, great, she's getting me in range to throw coconuts. Am I in range to throw coconuts? Yes. Okay. Yes, you are. Um, uh, it should be range 30 feet. That was a natural 20. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Well, <laughs> death by coconuts. <laughs> well, you don't lay under a coconut tree. Yeah. Uh, so that is ten. That's sixteen coconut damage to this guy. <laughs> so, um, is that is he still standing? No. So I imagine as Cor is wheeling <laughs> me in or dragging, I guess dragging me in, I just go. <laughs> Oh, whip one straight at his face. Coconut Where? breaks, milk everywhere. Yup. Oh. Absolutely. Like one of the halves lands on the table still spinning <laughs> perfectly. Does he make Cora's the face? just like, oh! Does he I make the it classic it. anime face? <laughs> Calm down. I don't <laughs> think so. And then just pat. He's pat. out. Now initiative is done. Pat Cora on the head with a leaf. I'm going to peek around the corner because I'm worried that they called for help and more people are coming. Nova, help! Okay. Help! Uh, and she just disappears. You should be help, able to help. be back to normal with your token, by the way. I think I am, yeah. Um, peeking around the corner, it's pretty abandoned. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Unfortunately, E3 cannot willingly end his rage until one full minute has passed. Cora's so, like just protecting Ithri. He's just a, this. This is his life now. He's just a uh, potted yeah. palm tree. I'll what, just what, uh, what see what if this? I can mind link to I'll him find, and I'll find and a talk. Nice place for you, Ithri. If Nova can't mind link, you. still works normal. <laughs> if okay, Cora's, okay. If Cora's doing this as well, the tri palm tree will just like lean forward and cuddle her slightly. Uh, Leaf. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's probably Nova. sharp leaves. It's probably not very nice. Ithri, I point. Can you talk to plants? Oh, I can talk to them in my head. I I think there was like a, a plant trap and he tried to, I don't know what happened. This was probably Puck. Just thinking back to the fact that I was a rhino and watched this happen, so. Oh. Can, yeah, I watched him go into his rage, but he just turned into a potted plant. It was the weirdest thing ever. Oh, Ithri, like are you gonna be okay? I'll uh, I'll ask you for that. <laughs> I'll, mind, that I'll mind I'll mind link to him. Go. Are you good? Can you get out of this form? Oh, hang on. Give me like ten seconds. He's a dwarf again. <laughs> I did it, guys. I imagine like the leaves fall off and then there's just a an oh my underneath. god, Nova, that was awesome. Uh. Yeah, I didn't do anything actually. I like everyone. Okay. okay. There was that Are part? there any unbroken coconuts anywhere? No, inexplicably, all of the coconuts and milk vanished. Oh man. I3, I've never seen that before. Are you, like, okay? No uh, lingering woodiness? Oh god. Stop doing the impression of a tree. <laughs> I can only communicate in tree now. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Oh no! It lo oh, okay. And with E3, like, doing the tree, uh, <laughs> we're going to take this opportunity to pause and take a brief break, a short rest, if you will. Uh, Chad, I'd hope you will also take a short rest. Get some hydration, some snacks, some stand up and water. stretch, some coconut water. Yeah, yeah, which you I will never look at the same way again. Mm. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you shortly. Hi. Hello. 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 All right. So, Hello? Hello? in the ensuing quiet following chaos, the floor is littered with bodies, uh, one of whom, the half-orc, is unconscious. Uh, 
there's these seem to be all of the personal quarters to all rim what would you like to do i would like Ooh. to loot all rim as i am standing next to his body <sighs> is everyone alive yes, yes i am fine over here i only got hit never mind it's, it's fine sorry i was a plant uh draco yeah that's strange why did you kill him it, it's just the heat of the battle. I was close, and he was close, and I thought... We kind of agreed not to, that we were going to get information from him. Oh, did we? Yeah, you were kind of part of that. Unless you went deaf. I do zone out sometimes. I... I this bug base. I... I am sorry, Miss Gore. I didn't... I didn't think... I'll good. restrain the unconscious one. Okay, the half orc. Yeah. Um. Or we'll head into this room, check it out. If you so, want, I could, no, I could, I could help with us speaking to him. Is she dead? Dead? Because I might be able to bring him back. Miss Cora. Oh, goodbye. Does that, does any, okay, who else? Oh. I'm right here. The way Hello. I can, we can speak to him again. I Is mean, it? I don't think so. You put a knife in his throat. It's hard to talk after that. Just, um, leave me. Leave you? Believe. Trust oh, me. believe. Okay. Um. I have heard of spells where you can speak with the dead. Oh, oh that's creepy as fuck. Yeah, this, yeah, this one. Yeah, I this can't one, do it. This one works. Still, the... I will check out this room to look for any like paperwork, any info, anything. Okay, that's I'm I just gonna do. tell you guys. Assuming you guys are searching over all the bodies here, all the the rooms yeah. and such, I'll just tell you what you guys find. Cool. Spending some time here. So I'm <laughs> rolling for the bugbear's money first. This one Ooh. works a little bit differently than probably the one you're thinking of. What do you need? What do I need? Um, don't be too alarmed, but a small mammal of some sort. Maybe a rat, a snake, anything living. Um, unfortunately, I wouldn't lend you Sir Bean, and also he's MIA right now, so. Do you think we could find a rat within an hour or so? Probably. If if that's what if if it's worth doing to speak to him, do we, we want to do that? Are there rules like how long will he talk for? Or we have twenty four hours with him. Holy! Oh, what? Yes. This, this is more of a last resort. I wasn't going to use it in this circumstance, but I admit I was a little bit. I mean... You say you need something living? Yeah, yeah, just just, just a small mammal or so. Nothing, nothing too major. What are you, you going know. to do to it? Unalive it. Sorry, that's not, that's not it. The way that you worded that, I'm so sorry. So you're going to kill an animal to bring back this guy? I mean, we don't have to. I would rather not. But if it helps us, it helps us, right? I no. don't think any more killing is the solution, actually. I, I, I agree. We can, we, can, we can not do this. I don't mind. I think you should learn from your mistake. I'm not fine. This again. I am fine with listening and learning, yes. I have been doing that my whole life. But Spice the option now. is there. We have an hour. If you want me to kill a rat or something, I don't know. I don't want you to do that. It's only a rat, though. It's nothing like... It's not a person or a... It's only a rat. Are you going to eat the rat? Oh, no, no, no. That would... Why would you eat a rat? I'm not eating a rat. I'm not that desperate. I'm not hungry. I have the iron stone of sustenance. I don't need any food. I was 
asking because why give a life for only 24 hours? It's not worth it. If well, you might have information that we need, though. No information that yes. we can't find? I'd, well? I was more so going on Miss Cora, saying that I was supposed to not kill him. You weren't I, supposed to kill the other guy either, and you did that too. Which 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 guy? The the one in the other room. With the flame sword. Oh yes, I think I blacked out for a, a second or two during that one. <laughs> yes, it must have to something to do with that casting, right? It I it just gets What's the better casting? of me. What yes, casting? Yes, casting spells, you know how it is, right? No. Nothing new, nothing out of the ordinary at all. Just me casting spells like a wizard casts spells. I've never casted one, so I don't Wait, know. Wait, are you saying done. the spells, the magic, like, affects you and makes you black out? I just mean in the moment, you know, we're, we're fighting for our lives and for the greater good, and sometimes I'm not thinking too straight all the time. I have to be honest and say I'm a, I'm a little bit with... I'm not fully with Dracon. I know we agreed yes, you are. should stay alive, but <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know we can't like go into every battle with the intent on saving the people we're fighting over saving ourselves, you know. Why do I want to save them? I just No, it just seems like some Ow. of us in this room seem to value saving the lives of the people that were supposed to be taking down over us actually making it out alive well and, uh, i'm sorry you feel that way but that's not how it is i, I will tap the always want to keep you guys person. safe but so do I. that's why i brought it up beforehand i thought it is honestly know, my mistake we had him surrounded. I just, I don't think we needed to kill him. I mean, yes, you, you are right. This was somebody we were supposed to question. And I've never seen you use a, a, a dagger like that. It was just really... Oh, it was just new and I thought, why not? It's magical. You know how I am, Miss Cora. I didn't even use the... The the uh, the venom, which is pretty cool. I can still use that on somebody else if we need. Uh, Life or death, you know. That's all I mean. I'm not going to just stab somebody and poison them. <laughs> well, I guess it needs to be said. I I would never put the lives of other people above you guys. I know this. Do you want me to kill a rat? I just. Oh, no. no. I just think that. I mean, we're pretty skilled. I just think we don't need to kill. But I, I, feel, I get it. I feel like I've killed a lot of people within the last few days. Are you bloodthirsty? No, I'm just saying, like, there's a bugbear up there that I just froze to death and he just fell over, and there's this fellow here, and there's fellows in the other rooms, and. There's been a lot of death already. I'm not saying we need to do more, but with what we are doing, people are going to lose our lives. Yeah, I mean, I'm not here to, like, redeem these people who willingly signed on to work for these evil things for money and tortured people that I know and tortured, potentially, you know, her brother and Zerithiel's leader. I'm not really here to save them. I don't think them. everybody can be redeemed, but at least some of them should be given an option. I think anybody given a life or death choice is going to pick, I will leave. What about your friend? Are you saying you want us to kill him? I have no idea what he's doing here, and hopefully we get not, some Not answer. your friend, I meant Oh, I thought friend. you meant Hector, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I thought you meant too. Hector too. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean Nova Cruz friend. Mostly. You mean Valtrail? Yeah. He's not supposed. To... What do you he's mean? He's working with the temple. Well, not willingly, though. We know he's being mind controlled. Do you? Uh, what if no, he isn't? We don't. 
We don't technically know. Yeah, we do know that. We know there's a powerful wizard and... Maybe he is mind-controlled. Potato, no, potato, potato and all of that stuff, right? Or is it tomato, tomato, I think. Well, right, but even if they are, we can't just kill people who are mind-controlled. Well, I... I'm gonna kill my friend. Nova, because he's I need being you to consider the possibility of what if he isn't. Then I will deal with him. That is my problem. He is from my village and but if as the daughter of the Archdruid, that's my it's my problem to deal with. But if he's trying to kill us, it's our problem too. And then yes. Then the temple? The temple's everybody's problem. Right. I'm a little confused. I feel like there's some mixed messaging here. You're no, saying I'm you're okay saying... with killing my friend no. because he may or may not be mind-controlled, but you're not okay with killing the people who definitely aren't mind-controlled. No, I'm saying... <laughs> I'm a little confused. I don't want to kill anybody. We don't know what's going okay. on in people's minds. That's what I'm just I... saying. You should think about what's going in and on in their minds. What if these guys are mind controlled? We don't. Know. I don't think these guys are mind controlled. Why? Because all of the ones that we've talked to before don't seem like they're mind controlled. I know a I tiny know. bit about minds, a little bit I don't know enough what... to, I think, identify mind control or not. I guess I haven't seen it enough. Also, there was the half walk. He was saying they are the. Was it? What was the name they kept calling out? It, it, oh god, I don't remember. It was such a, I was a rhino. I don't know. I'm just, there's, ix, there's ix like something, ix, uh, something, I don't know. There's like a demon goddess involved here. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't know how she's affecting people or how Hector's affecting people. We just need to remember that people do follow those with power. The same goes for religion. Of any sort, any god. That doesn't mean they are brainwashed or being mind controlled. People no, choose it, willingly sometimes. It could go either way. It could. Well, so, do you want to stop and interview every person before we fight them and go, hey, is there a chance you might be mind controlled and then knock them out based on that? Or, or. <laughs> I want you to use your best judgment and. I am using my best judgment. I'm not saying you're not. I look at Draycod. <laughs> I, I, what, why? I could kill a rat, like I said, I could bring him back. It's not a big deal. I would rather save it. I just, killing affects the people who kill, too. I'm just saying. Can and I get you guys are doing it. I'm, but I'm just, I'm not going to. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so if you choose not to, why is it such a bad thing if we do? Because we discussed it beforehand I that know, we wouldn't. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not talking about this singular moment. I'm talking about all the moments you've chosen not to kill, and we've kind of been at that point where maybe this person should. In the moment. We're talking about Lara. In a way, yes, but he isn't the only one who you've tried to step in front of us from killing. Oh, do you mean the half work? Honestly, I can't remember a specific situation. I just know there's been more than one. <laughs> I just like to avoid killing. As much for them and you guys doing the killing. The cycle of life and death is natural. It's going to happen. Although I agree, I think killing someone isn't as natural as someone just dying, and that being a natural occurrence. But I see what you're saying. Perhaps. I'm... Oh, oh, look, there's a rat over there in that corner, guys. <laughs> I could do it. I would like to show you the, the magic I have learned. I don't want to see a rat die. You I could think get they have a... enough bodies. So... Okay, it's so only a rat, just a little vermin that carries the there, plague and it's fine. They're intelligent. 
What but is a rat? They're intelligent. Can't Everything's intelligent to a certain degree. I'll tell you as a rhino, I'm oh, very... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I retain my mental stats. I'm joking. <laughs> We have this one. I like I, nudge I have, the half orc lady. I do have foot. a question then. If if I am, if you are not oh, willing. Also the curate. Oh yeah, he was not in lethal as well. Sorry, if, go ahead. If you are not willing to let me kill a rat now, what happens when one of you dies and I could do the same for you? I don't want to live for only 24 hours. That's the gist of the spell, but there's an idea behind what you would do when the spell is cast and you're not really letting me explain, you're just saying no. Yeah, the... Because you're not giving us a proper answer. Well, you're like, explain how it I have works, a new spell. Then. So, as you know, there is other forms of resurrection and keeping people alive. This spell, in a sense, is to act as a stasis. You are given a 24-hour window to get to a place or at least to get to somebody who has the ability to resurrect you properly. Okay. This is a short-term solution to a long-term goal. Sounds kind but of you cool, just have but... to kill something to do it. Yeah, it's just a little sacrifice here and there. It's not a big deal, I'm sure. <clears throat> well, you can't a... bring something back from the dead without a tremendous sacrifice. Yes, like a little rat just... or something. That's all it takes. It's nothing. It's nothing big. It doesn't take anything from me or anybody around me. It's just. So cold. if we were to do that, what are yes. we going to do with him for 24 hours and then after the 24 hours? Well, that's where it comes into the kind of gray area. Do we just leave him and just let him die in 24 hours because he's already dead? See, it's already that, happened. Yes, that I, know, kind of I know. I know, Miss Doesn't feel right either. I could just. Kill him after. I mean, I did it once. Just... I think um, he's already dead and could just leave it that way. I think that's probably the best. So we don't want to kill a rat for some answers? No, I mean, this one seemed to be a second in command, and uh, I... that one over there might know something. Did you hear him? I don't think he was going to willingly give answers anyway, so it's. There's no guarantee that we would, yes. We could look for answers in... Oh, and I'll stuff. just gesture to, to everything. The ginormous list of loot that we have been given. I have not even included the room that didn't have anybody in it. That's just what was on them and in the rooms you fought in. Locked chest. Robes. Would I need to make um, a check or, or anything in these rooms? Like an investigation? Or this is you... using only passives. You are welcome. If you want to look more thoroughly somewhere, you are welcome to. Yeah, if we were like looking for about... like temple information, like I imagine since yeah, I don't know, maybe he had a diary. There. I, I <laughs> saw a table with a book on it, but I didn't read it. I will have a look at the book. I like books. Yes. I would like to creep around this corner over here. Okay. The passage Hi. just continues south on and on and on and on. Hmm. All right, well, that ate up five minutes of our day, so we've got another 11 hours and 55 <laughs> minutes until we have to see Burn. <laughs> well, didn't we want to rest before that, or no? I don't know. Before we went to go see Burn? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could do like a short rest, but we just finished a long rest, so we can't do that right now. Oh yeah, you know, time flies by. Hey, um, Miss, would you, do you would you like a potion or two? Who? Oh. You, because you're you're looking a little bloody at the moment. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, you're not fine. Would you like a potion or two, maybe? No, I have some. Okay, they're here if you want them. Just hanging on my belt. Uh, these two chains with fire amulets. <clears throat> Did I find anything with eighteen investigation? Um, well, I don't know where you're where you're looking or investigating. So we we got to get a little narrative now. 
Okay. Um, I gave you the basics of like what you found on these individuals, some magic gear, some treasures, money. Uh, you guys have the handout of what those amulets of fire look like. Mm-hmm. Okay. All of them are more or less uniform, except for the one on Alrem, which had a ruby set into it. A really fancy ruby at that. Um, okay. So beyond that, what did you guys want to look at? Um, I'll take the book and see what that is first. What book? The book that was in a room that you found that was open. Okay. The right room. So I haven't even covered this room. Um, going in here, there is indeed a book on the stand. Um, looking at it, it is written in common. Um, the page that it is open to, because it's like already open, it's not just sitting there closed. Yeah. Uh, it is describing a strange creature. Uh, it's describing what it calls an elemental <laughs> spirit corrupted by energies of the abyss called a Hargan. Do I know what one of those are? It go, Well, it goes on to describe them in pretty great detail. Okay. They stand about three feet tall. They look like red-scaled lizards wreathed in flame, and they are sadistic and cruel and especially delight in watching fire consume living things. Um, they are ravenous and sad- sadistic, um when given an opportunity it says that they will attack and eat the flesh of intelligent creatures not because they want to but because it gives them joy Fair enough. uh they are they were originally created uh it is said by the cult of a lost deity whose name has been stricken from history uh and they are often summoned and controlled to perform simple tasks by worshippers of this god and other evil magicians. Many wizards will summon them with conjure minor elemental spells to extract gemstones from their heart. That's um, pretty cool. And it, just, it says that a hargan is a form of a type of elemental called a gru. G-R-U-E. Would I know possibly the unnamed god i know it's you said it was stricken from knowledge but i don't think there's any confirming for sure okay so is this more like a what what sort of book would this be is it like oh this is how you summon one or the whole book seems to detail the elemental plane of fire That's interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll just stick it in my bag. Okay. Uh, if we take the key worn by Alrim and try to open the chest in his room with it. Smart. Does it fit? <laughs> uh, it does, actually. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. I'm trying to keep up. I got to add You're fine. to the You're fine. gear. That is in, so, uh, and just for your benefit, Dracon, I do want to add yep. that there is a chest in that room, in the room you're in as well. Is it locked? No. Is it trapped? <laughs> we'll find out when I come back to you. Cool. So, in room <laughs> C, you were testing Ulrim's key on a chest. chest. Yeah. The one at, yeah, the one at the end of his bed. It fits perfectly. I'll open it. I assume you wouldn't... Well, this might be bold. I'll just open it. Fuck it. You... It opens with no problem. Okay. Uh, within, you can yeah. find there is some clothing. There's what looks like a normal suit of chain mail, uh, a mace, mm-hmm. uh, a sack containing 100 gold. 100 gold. But... The top of the box, and by the way, the entire chest, as I said, is brass. The top is inlaid with sardonyx. What's a sardonic? I don't know. Uh, that's with an X. It's like onyx, but with the word sard before it. Oh. I don't know. 
I that no explains what exactly it's what it is. Inlaid with it. <laughs> oh, it's fishy onyx. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's well... like a fake, fake diamond. You know, it's, it's cubic onyx. <laughs> cubic onyx. Um, I'll just leave that if it's inlaid. I don't want to take it. I'll just take the gold. I mean, it, basically, it just means that the chest could be worth money as well. I'm not gonna haul around a brass chest, so. We can put all their stuff in the brass chest and then carry the brass chest. I mean, you guys already have one jumbo big chest that I think you're carrying. Or wait, is that this game? Yeah, that is this game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what did we do with that? <laughs> you still have it. I assume yeah. someone dropped it when the fight started. I am, um, I imagine it was dropped in the hallway before the first surprise fight. So we'd go back and get Lord, it. Lord, we need a bag of holding. Oh yeah. I should also note though that one final thing is in the chest. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like a collection of rare herbs. Ooh, I'll um, take that. Yeah, that could be useful for something. Good things. Poison. Yeah. I imagine that's how my magic works. Pretty sure. Yeah. Like a, a little pinch of oregano. I think I need basil, nature to use my magic. I don't know. <laughs> spring onions. Hmm. <laughs> the crazy thing. I think you're confusing cooking with magic there. <laughs> I mean, is that not magic? It is witchcraft. You follow a book sure of an old person. Hell yeah. You use, you use uh, dead and you consume the essence of, of things. Um, All right, I'm not going to keep the key because we already opened the chest. It goes through. So I'll just put that key on the table there. Okay. Uh, he doesn't happen to have a gem that would fit into the slot of a certain item. As it he, happens, he does not. Hmm. Where the heck am I supposed to find these things? <laughs> I know, right? In the heart of a guru. You know who oh. might know? Allrem. Probably not. Kelno didn't. Oh, look at that rat just hopping around over there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's true, there is. Where's a grave um, cleric when you need one? Um, all right. Or any cleric, really. Um, what was in that chest, Tim? The one I'm at? Ah, uh, yes, uh, the chest. Sorry. It is uh, going to require an investigation check from you. Yes, sir. 21. Yes, sir. It does not seem to be trapped, nor does it seem to be locked. I, I open it. Okay, it opens, no problem, no danger. Uh, you find some clothing, a small silver box, uh, oh. Open and it's not silver in color, I mean actual silver. Opening the little box, you see that it contains a set of 20 specially minted platinum pieces, Ooh. as well as a platinum rig, excuse me, set with tiny scarlet shards. Beneath the clothing, you find a bone scroll case with something inside of it. Ooh. Um, is I can't. Hmm. In this time, would this be like, I'm assuming we're, we're searching, and it's not a short rest, right? Correct. But would this I know if this ring is magic at all? Is there any way it I is, could know? You would know it. I, I think you'd have a sense if it was magic. It's not. Okay. Um, what is inside the scroll? Is a scroll? Can scroll cases be trapped? They can't. Anything can be trapped if you if you get inventive. Enough. Is it trapped? Are you checking? Yes. Make an investigation check. Um, why is there so well, much electron? Uh, doesn't seem to be. I open it, but I open it while pointing it away from me. Okay. <laughs> like, Nothing happens. It opens. What is the scroll of? Uh, there is a scroll of protection in there. Specifically against fiends. Interesting. Okay. What about the three spell scrolls that were on Allroom's belt? How funny. You should mention those. I didn't even see uh, that. How examining funny. those, Nova, you find that they are spells of dispel magic, nice. flame strike, Ooh. and tongues. Ooh. That's a good one. Dispel magic, flame All three strike. divine. So I can't use those? You are a divine caster. Oh. Huh. I know tongue, tongues is in my spell list. 
if it's on your spell list, you can use it, whether it's arcane or divine. I'm just noting that it's in yeah. the form of like prayers to the god, maybe? Imix. Imix. That was what she was saying. Yes. Imix. My D&D Beyond keeps crashing. Very annoying. Nice. It shouldn't uh, drink and roll dice. Wardrobe. Do we think we should take these... Um, this the red robes with the golden skulls on the back oh i'm gonna take that one that's in the wardrobe because that's like the one that goes with the uh, kelnos we're gonna have a full matching set of priestly <laughs> robes covered in gems i mean if we were to take back every single elemental priest robes to somewhere no no, no not not every i just mean the the, the head ones yeah, there yeah. Was also that's what I mean. More. If we had like the four elemental robes and went, yeah, temples defeated. That's yeah, that's true. Cool. That's why I'm taking it. Yeah. There was also a chest, by the way, in the half orcs antechamber. I don't know if I typed that or not. You did. Yeah, it's I did. locked. Okay. Yeah. So I will... that's not my area of expertise, unless you want to try Allroom's key. Might as well. I... Go for it. Has anyone did was. A search of the orc included in that list. Mm hmm Cool. Her gear is in there. Yeah. There was no key on her. I'm in the no. middle of, like, organizing it all into a list right now. I will try the key on that chest in that room. All rooms. It doesn't fit. Darn. Um, Miss, Miss Junko. Yes? There is a, there's a locked chest here, and I was wondering if you could possibly try to open it. You don't have to check if it's trapped. That's investigation. I could also check. Mm, Doesn't seem I to be trapped, Junko. Don't see one, but do you want to check it first? I would if my D and D Beyond website was working, but it's not. If only there were like some physical implements with. Oh yes, yeah. like a... <laughs> roll that big dice. If only someone had invented some some sort of physical object, you could. Yeah, for a generation of a what number, do you mean? statistically. Uh, 20. Nice. 20? Doesn't yeah. seem to be trapped. No, it seems yeah. perfectly fine. But I know that happened last time and you blew up, so just be careful. Uh, I am going to try and take the hinges off the backside of the chest. Uh... Okay. I have a crowbar. Actually... So you're trying can... to muscle it open. Yeah, that's why I, I look at this and I'm like, Ether, do you want to... I help you? Uh, you it right here and I then... wasn't I wasn't paying attention. What are you doing? Uh, we're getting the crowbar, uh, the chest open. Sure. I will help you. What, 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 what do you need me to do? Just take it here and then push your body weight this way so it could you have it's a strength check with advantage okay yeah. that's the strength check with advantage guess you... who doesn't trust chess you can't at all is it strength Since or athletics yeah yeah is it strength oh. or athletics because i can't strength. do a strength just with strength. advantage so i'm just gonna oh yeah i can it was just being silly 14. 14? Okay. You bust the lid clean off of the, the chest. I'm sorry, nice. I have blown up a couple times opening chests and poisoned I did too. Myself. The very first time I played D&D &D and I opened a chest, it exploded and my character went unconscious. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's, there's some clothes in here, a little glass vial filled with uh, liquid, and a leather bag that liquid. clinks with money. Just, I'll just check. Uh, open the leather bag to check that it is only money and nothing nefarious. Electrum and gold. 19 I'll, Electrum, 37 gold. I'll chuck that to Nova to put in party funds. Party funds, yeah. Okay, yeah. what is it? 19 Electrum? Yep, and 37 and gold. 19 and 37. I've got like a chart going right now. I love how much Electrum you guys are forced to deal with. <laughs> I love um, how much you love it. It's great. Yeah. Do we know what the potion is? 
by looking at it? Uh, is it similar to a potion of healing or it something? It looks like a potion of healing. Does that have a label on it saying ye olde potion of healing? <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's unlabeled. Got a heart, like a <laughs> Zelda heart. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't need to hold any more potions of, of healing at the moment. So if somebody oh, has, I don't even know how many I have right now. I, I think Miss Cora could do with a potion, but she's, do you she's wanna, upset with me. So. Do you want to refill, Cora? Well, don't you don't need to I refill. I drank just a, a potion earlier. Well, here's a replacement. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm good. I've got two. Um, okay. Is it, uh, just a potion of healing? Is it just a potion of healing? I mean, regular? it looks like one. It looks like a regular potion of healing. Should I keep it in a different section in my inventory? or? It's not technically identified. You can you can potion keep it wherever you want. Hopefully it's not like the thing Amiri drank. I'm sure that's fine. Um, there is a magic ring. And then is this magic... It says magic, uh, chainmail, shield, and warhammer. Are all three of those magic, or is just the chainmail? Mm -hmm. No, all they're all magic. they're all magic. Yep. Ooh. If we're gonna take a short rest, oh, we are. I don't know. Are we? I drank a potion. I didn't type it out. Also, there was a non-magic ring on the curate set with a large violet garnet. Yeah. Okay. I added it to the treasures, but I'm just letting you know. Um. I want to know what the magic ring is, but I cannot identify stuff, so. And it takes a short rest or oh, an identify you. spell. Yeah, I think this stuff we haven't identified, we'll just keep to the side, and when we have the time, we'll do it all. Yeah, I'll just put it in my backpack. Please make notes of where you found it so that I don't have to hunt through 400-some encounters looking for the magical gear that you, what are you want me taking? to tell you what it is. What are you guys taking? Um... All of the magic. Okay. Uh, the so, magic chainmail shield and warhammer is that? What you're yes, saying? that was the plan. Okay, yeah, that just that's from all of them. Yeah. Uh, the magic ring from the curate. Does it look like the ring of protection that I am currently wearing? Yes. <laughs> I like how you go yes! like this when it should be like this. Sorry, that I am currently <laughs> wearing. Um, it does. Okay. Does anyone need a ring of protection? Because Cora and I already have one. It gives you um, one AC, plus one AC, and two saving throws. All saving throws. I... It is an attunement item, though. So, Junko, I mean, you look I... like you want this. <laughs> you can see under my mask. Oh, sorry, my bad. Shifty reading, eyes, though, are reading pretty too far into universal, that. aren't they? Like working between people. Do you want to check on? My AC is 13 with a cloak of protection on. So that would give me 14. Do they stack the ring and the cloak? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming so, yeah. In 5th edition, everything pretty much stacks. So it's up to you. I don't mind because I can uh... use mage armor to give myself 15, but obviously that uses a spell slot and it's only for 8 hours a day. Just take it. Are you, are you sure? I think it'd be useful for Junko too because. She gets up close. I'm like at 15 or something. I don't know. I'm pretty hard to hit almost. Have you got just basic armor on? Are you wearing Junko? Are you wearing magical armor? Studded uh, leather, right? Uh, yeah, just studded leather. We need to get you some good shit. It's leather plus one. Could you not oh. take like the mithril armor? Oh, okay. There was mithril armor? There was chain mail and it was, it's heavy. Oh, chain oh, mail, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I my have, bad. I, I can't have heavy. Yeah. You 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 can have you can have the ring. If we find another one, uh, I I will take that. They seem to be in abundance here, so. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to make one. I've never tried, but I can give it a go. Not here, obviously. I don't tend to get hit too right. much. So I'm, Judeco's I'm got fine. that. E three's got these. Dracon has the scroll of dispel magic and tongues. What else? Inventory uh, Management Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> there is also two of the amulets that have the fire symbol on them. Do they? Are they magic? Can we tell? No, can't tell. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I uh, I tried to specify if it's magic. I imagine okay, okay, okay. this is three. I imagine that that the spell Just a spell. What do you call yeah, them? It's like a holy symbol. Yeah, that. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah. Although that this the Orim's one was real nice, so 
Mm-hmm. And all yeah, of them are we'll on take that one solid as... gold chains. We can Actually, take that one as proof. Of can I? Them. Can I have one of those? You can have yeah. the two regular ones. Yeah, I'll just hold on to the ruby ones. I'm gonna. It's fancy. I'm going to try and Crunchy. hit one with my unfortunate D hammer. See what happens. What are you trying to hit? One of the, the amulets. Uh, Junko's gonna step away. Um, I hit it. It would probably be like I, I. It wouldn't just be like, oh, cool. I'd probably need to like take it to a solid surface and out of the way mm-hmm. of people. Um, okay. I don't think anything actually would happen here. Huh? Because they're not magic, so your thing cool. doesn't break them down into anything. I just I don't uh, know how it works. Yeah, yeah, you can have both of those. No, actually, you can have the one with the ruby in it too if you want the ruby. I'm gonna take the one with the ruby because it's like proof that we took all of them down. I mean, I did want a big ruby. Here you go. You can take it. Thanks. Yeah. All you. Can I just have um? So I'm sure this one is worth quite a bit of money. If we if we ever came to sell it as a whole piece, it would be worth more. What would I don't what? think rubies are too expensive in in. Oh, sorry. I think he needs ruby for crafting, though, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm, if if we can find a ruby, I'm happy to switch. Um, I've got four zircons. I don't know what a zircon is. How, but I don't think it's a diamond. Ruby. Oh, how big, okay. How big of a ruby do you need? Um, Ithri knows exactly how big, but Ashley has to go and have a look. Because I have three rubies here from the Sunless Citadel when we was down there. In that case, I might be making it up. Hang on, let me have a look. Oh. I think it was this one that needed a ruby. Yeah. Yes. Everything you guys do seems so complicated. I need a a one pound gem. That's pretty big, I would assume. I I'm not sure. no. No, that's not big. Is it is it big? I don't know. That's pretty large. What's what's at one pound in common? I don't know. Uh, it's not very big. Okay. Well, you could you could take these three rubies here, and perhaps you could use these. Each of those would probably be one pound, to be honest. Oh, thanks. You, you want to? Did you want to swap? I mean, no. We could just add the necklace to the. If we do need it as proof, or if we do cool. come to sell a bunch of stuff, then that could be sold too. I will keep it in my bag. I would just like to say we probably have about 20 more minutes if you want me to kill a rat. I'm just. No, I, think we just I don't think, think so. Okay. I think the decision has been made on that front. I, um, I think Nova yeah. would rather befriend the rat, honestly. I've made friends with rats before, they're okay. Wow. Should we? Depends on they the just want snacks, Rats. really. Should I didn't continue? say hey. Why are you putting words in my mouth? Unknown being that is speaking in my head right now. <laughs> I'm your conscience. We don't talk much. I, I don't want to talk anymore. Imagine how, <laughs> imagine how scary that would be if Asuka was your conscience. <laughs> uh, All right. I'm adding this money to party funds. So if we ever like, I need this. I want to buy something, but I don't have enough money. Let me know. Because we got money. Put it on the Google Just Dad. easier than dividing it by six. I mean, to be honest, dividing things by six is really annoying. Should we? I've got it. I've got it separated out. So we're good. Should nice. we continue? Uh, you said there was a hallway on the other side, right? Like following the room through and back over. Uh, we... It just keeps going. Do we need to look at the temple at all? I went 30 feet down, and it just kept going. Oh, you mean that fire temple? Maybe that's the way down to the lower floor, then, this path here. Or a secret tunnel. Or maybe it's a secret, maybe it's a secret, like, back-end way to the water temple, which is also on this floor. I think we should explore it, because it is the back route into an important person's home? Do these guys live here? Yes. Oh. I think so, based on the fact that there was a really nice bed in that other room. It could also be the the secret entrance out of the temple itself. We haven't found one of those yet, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I just said. But 
The only one we know of is the one that goes from the tower, from Hellhand's tower to that like extra uh, uh, cabin thing. I I believe we was told there was one per floor in a way to get out and in. I don't remember that. I mean, we were told told lots of, we were told lots of things. You speculated that. We were told lots of things and we have no idea how many of them were true. Definitely correct, yes. (laughs) I heard it once, so it must be true. Uh, I have a question. Go down the hall real quick. Yeah, if you want to. Yes. Okay, I will be back in 40 seconds. I do want to tell, I I missed one item because it's in a different section in the descriptive text. In Allrem's room where you found him, you might mm-hmm. recall you found him writing something. Oh, yeah. Oh. He was in the middle of writing a letter, and thus far is written, your rewards will be great if you bend your knee to fire. Bring all your forces here to me now and swear fealty. If you fail to heed this advice, and that's as far as he got. Is it, it have been addressed? Yeah. Not yet. Dang it. I have an idea of is, who this might be for. Is there an envelope nearby that might have an address on it? <laughs> no. Dang it. It could be for the, was it the bugbears upstairs? Uh, it could be for, I don't know. It could be for, Maybe it's for people who are part of the, um, the air temple. Kelno seemed to hate all of them the most, so. That's what I mean, because Kelno asked us to get them on his side. And maybe mm-hmm. this was for them. Could be for like, like the people of Noct. It could be for. Uh, it could be for anybody. Could be for the elves. Like. Yes. What okay. if we take out the water temple and then we go to Burn and he's like, "Hey guys," and we're like, "We already did it. <laughs> They're I all mean, taking care." He said, "We haven't taken out Romac, who's a floor above us." So. Yeah, yeah, but but you know, three out of four ain't bad. Three out of four is really good. Two out of four is pretty good. That's half. It's also, that's the gods that you still have to worry about. Shh. Um, I'll go down this hall until I'll try and sneak as well. Okay, make a stealth check. Okay. I put my hood up. Don't use a javelin. A really good eighteen. Okay. You can keep going until you see something, but I will start telling you. It goes on and on to the south. Eventually, you hear low guttural Mm -hmm. voices in the dark. And you see a pair of uh, bugbears seated on a wooden box in the corner where the hall turns west. um, Mm -hmm. Drinking. Looks like they're supposed to be keeping watch, but they're, they're kind of guffawing and elbowing each other, talking in goblin. Okay. Um, I'm just that. gonna bounce behind the wall so I don't be seen in return. Okay. Uh, how strong do they look? Not. Nah, they, they look like the standard issue bugbears you've come to know and love. None of those super-sized bugbears. I have a, sorry to, like, retroactively go back to the loot. The flame strike is usable by druids, but only circle the wildfire. That is not me. So you would have to I... make a arcana check in order to use it. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's not going to go well. Dragon! <laughs> Do you want another spell scroll? <laughs> would I be able to if it's not on the wizard spell list? With an Arcana check, yes. Then yeah, sure, I'll take it then. Okay, because like my Arcana is plus zero, so I'd have to just roll well. Yeah, mine's a plus eight. Get it. Does that mean? Yeah, that... you have a much higher chance of success then. Does that mean technically A three could cast that? In theory, yeah. You want an A three? <laughs> What's your Arcana E three? Go on. Plus zero. Okay, let's hey. not do that then. You would need a natural 20 to cast it. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, yeah, there you go, Dragon. Uh, there you go. Thank after you. a certain distance of leaving, I'll start, I'll dash back. Okay. Uh, like, after Mr. about 40 feet. That's fine. Uh, uh, 
Uh, about 200 feet down the hall, there are bugbears. Oh. Are they I wearing... I a couple. They're drinking. Are they wearing cloaks? I didn't check. Oh. I what if we just, uh... What if we just, like, put on some cloaks and strolled on past? Like, what if we put on these red... Some red robes that we found don't, here and just stroll past. <laughs> don't think it would be a good idea to put on Orim's very not high not his fancy priest. one. I'm talking about the I'm talking about the other ones. I'm talking about the like okay. random hooded robe that was found under a heap of pillows. I mean, Cora can pretend to be him, right? Uh, yeah. So if we just wanted that's... to like walk by without being bothered. Did the um the half orc or the bugbears we killed in this room to the north have a cloak that was like fire elemental? Um, they were wearing red cloaks, yes, with the eight pointed star on it. So we could. I'm sure, and the room before here, maybe the, the, I'm sure they was wearing them as well. So we could, we could all adorn one. And they just walk past good, them. Though. No, probably not. They were hit by coconuts. <laughs> and if, I mean, that makes them smell great. <laughs> and then if Cora would like to um, illusion herself. Yeah, that way we could just like? get past. I don't um, know if you just want to look like anyone from the fire temple. Maybe Orim would probably be the best chance of us going through without being too bothered. He wants people to surrender, I mean, to him. We could just say that we are joining the fire temple. Like we did upstairs. Uh, okay. Or we'll go over to Alrim's body, stare at it, and make the more lively like version. Him. Does it work? It does. Uh, you take on his visage. What does that last for, like, a while? An hour? An hour, yeah. Are there javelins left in this barrel that they were pulling javelins out of? There was one javelin remaining. Can I take it? Sure. All yours. I can I can use a javelin, so... <laughs> oh. Are you going to put it in your mouth as a rhino? Because that would be pretty cool. It would be fun. That would be fun. Do you want me to have his sword? It's uh, probably best that way, yes. Was a warhammer. Warhammer. Uh, and I a mean, shield. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Take it back out of my bag. Just to try and be as convincing as possible. Oh, yeah, no, it makes sense. I take them. What do you want me to say? Hopefully nothing. We don't have to say anything, yeah. If we just walk past them with confidence. Okay, like, pretend like anything. you belong there. Then and that way they won't question it. Yeah, okay. You've got this. You're you're great at talking. That's why I'm not talking. What? Mm. What? Oh, I see what you mean. Um, let's all put a cloak on and and go down this corridor. Okie dokie. Cora will lead the way. Alrim will lead the way. Oh, uh, if three would be right behind Kura. Uh, I'm just doing other, All other things. Yes. Yeah. Trying to update my okay. inventory right now. Uh, you guys start walking, all bearing the scarlet ah. cloaks of the Fire Temple. Um, it's a long walk. And a okay. little uncomfortable. As you, as you progress... You see that on occasion the dust on the walls is thin enough that you can make out faded murals depicting landscapes in flames, uh, screaming humans burning to death, uh, whole villages being scorched away to cinders, desolation and ashes glorified again and again in a dozen different ways as you walk. Eventually, the further south you go, though, the more the murals 
become covered and obscured, whatever they might depict. Um, and I'm assuming you guys now have a light source, yes? Mm -hmm. So as you continue walking, uh, who has the light source and what kind? Uh, I have torches I, if it's required. I can hold a torch, yeah. Okay. You light up a torch. I'll, um, I'll take one out of my inventory. The bugbears uh, see you probably before you see them because as you uh, approach, they're both on their feet, kind of at attention by the time you can see them. Nice. Um, as you approach, they kind of look at you expectantly, Cora. Expectantly? Mm-hmm. Like they're expecting something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I? I need. I need to see. I'm gonna just look down this hall just to see oh. what's down there. They kind of. Oh. Look I with you, like. <laughs> I I will lean to whisper. It's like tell them to get back to work or something. Get back to work or something. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Y y yes, sir. Make a deception check with advantage. Okay, 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 okay. I'm uh, leaning. Nine. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, Prefect, is everything okay? Are we under attack or? No, everything's fine. They kind of look at each other. O okay. Not pop, they won't uh, bar the way. <laughs> That's right, bitch. And then I uh, keep walking. Okay. <laughs> the hallway continues, turning north eventually, and you can see there's a bit of an intersection. I've got, got my token. Oh, is I know where this goes. This is kind of cool. Oh, interesting the back way to that freaky door What's that up? pushed us back. What is that? What's in that? I can see As that. you that? move to the intersection. What is that? No. <laughs> uh, looking to the west. You can make out that there's someone in there. You can't really make out too much in the way of details, but you smell a foul odor coming from that chamber. Um, oh and you can hear mumbling. I'm sure oh, that's it's The poop chamber. <laughs> Don't bother me. He's taking a pool. Yeah, I just ignore it. Just keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Keep going. Oh, well, Jesus. As Holy you fuck. walk north, I can see um, the side of that. As you walk this? north, you oh, see a, a cylindrical chamber, the ceiling uh, being a rounded arch about 30 feet above. The floor in here is littered with bones, dung, and other refuse. But the polished stones visible beneath indicate that this room once served some special purpose. Uh, noteworthy is the room's sole inhabitant, a massive lizard-like beast. And as you approach, it's like climbed up to its feet, its five snarling heads looking at you. Oh, shit. Bearing fangs. Five heads? Oh, I, For what? I... What needs five heads? Hydra. Hydra. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah. I thought they had seven heads. We're gonna end there tonight. <gasps> no! no. For 15 got, minutes early, but I, got loads I think of time. this is gonna take longer than 15 minutes. No, it's uh, not. We're leaving. I mean, I can play for another hour or so. Yeah, me too. You guys I can't. Because times haven't changed. Oh, okay, first. okay. Yeah, no, we, our times have changed. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. I, I would love to keep going. Oh, uh, my god. I, I will add this little bit of extra detail. As one head lets out a low growl, two on either side of that head 
let out this shrill uh rodan like scream that pierces through the halls and from the stinky smelly room you hear booty what's going on and a giant green skinned clawed humanoid peeks around the corner more gaunt than an ogre and not quite reptilian but almost amphibious as it stares with like a, a long fanged maw you're not supposed to be here are you uh, it'll be food for the baby then <laughs> that's where we'll end it as there's another oh. shriek from the hydra that is I not mean... a baby a <laughs> little baby I don't Fun think thing. this is a secret. Hydras are my favorite mythological beast. Oh, really? Well, one of two. Great. Cool. cool. Oh. Favorite to eat? Hmm? Favorite to eat? No, no. Oh. Uh, favorite to read about. Unfortunately, I was pretty disappointed with them in most editions of D&D. &D. Uh, hmm. And Pathfinder. Favorite? It's rare that I found a Hydra that lives up to the legend of the yeah the, the Lernian. I think they have hydra. to tone it down a bit, don't they? I mean, I mean Olak versus the Hydra was really cool. Not in first edition. You play some first edition, you're you're fighting a, a Lernian Hydra, <laughs> and you, you're gonna have a real bad time. Ah, oh, well, that's yeah. an interesting way to end. Well, uh, We'll see how that how that plays out next time. I was wondering. I didn't think you guys were going to come over to this part of the the temple because you know you guys have been so business oriented. Well, I, well, I like the back passages because they feel like they get us faster than the. Oh, they got you somewhere. They got you somewhere just, real quick. It's okay. We can still lie our way out of this. <laughs> can you? I don't yes. know. This is going to be a tough one to lie your way out of. Yeah. This... As long as we have Cora as. The disguise, it is very possible. But then again, you know what? Nova is idea. still in harmony and has more wild shapes today. <gasps> oh my god! Into an Ankylosaurus, guys. You can fit in that room as it <laughs> does. You can oh fit my in that god, room. you can fit! Is it's a, like um, Godzilla versus Mothra. <laughs> yes. Is a Hydra a beast? Um, I, I don't think don't I can turn know. into things like that. Let me take a quick peek. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, 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 it's a monstrosity. Damn. All right. That'd no. be fucking cool, though, and I'm kind of sad that I didn't... Like, can you imagine, crazy. imagine like, that. level 20 druids just going, I'm a Hydra now. We can do I these mean, dragons. A level 20 right. transmuter could do it. Just saying, Dracon, you ever want to change your school of magic specialization? <laughs> or uh, Unless you you're happy that? with what you've got going. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Yeah, well, weird void fire magic. It was oh. fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, good session. Anyways, <laughs> good session. Thank you everybody for watching today. Uh, thank you for all of the raids, subs, commentary. Uh, the fan art. The fan art. The fucking fan art. Yeah. Fantastic. That was beautiful. It's this. This is. This is going to be one of the most peculiar game sessions I think I've ever had. So thank you for that. This mm. was something else. Yeah. Um, I love D&D. <laughs> same. I, I love this game. I don't think anyone could have anticipated that. I thought the Rhino was a lot. But, we just uh, want to test our new stuff, you know? Yeah, That's I'm glad. I'm I didn't glad. even test my new stuff yet, but yeah. I mean, well, technically, you, you tested into a, tree. a new stuff. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it's because you got turned into a palm tree. <laughs> a potted palm tree, no less. The pot, I feel like, is the 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 best part of it. I don't know. Um, oh. but uh, yeah, we will be live again tomorrow evening for some Pathfinder First Edition. Some of us, anyway. Um, getting pretty close to the end of that entire campaign, so hang on to your butts if you come on to watch. Uh, mm, otherwise. What? Uh, we'll be live again next Sunday. Yes. Which is too far so, away. 
It, it's it so far away. If you want to catch up on this episode or any of our past ones or other campaigns of which there might or might not be new ones in the near future, uh, you can find us on our YouTube channel, which has already been linked in chat. You can find, you guys know where it is. I'm sure you know at this point. Uh, so that being said, thank you so much. Take care and we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Do we have this